What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Let's Be Real podcast. Welcome. With Tyler, Juan, Savannah, and we got a new guest this week. It's uh, one of our good friends. He actually went in. Oh, wow. Too soon. Wow. <laughs> no. Just messed up that was everything. Perfect. It like, was perfect. It was geez, perfect. bro. You you're just, good. You're just you doing good. things way too soon. No, I don't. I disagree. That was, I, I love the awkward. Just, just. Wow. Like, hey, was, everybody. You, it's me. That was perfect. That was perfect. <laughs> hey, you screwed up. The cat's out of the bag. You're here. So now. this is. Uh, What's your this, name? Is, uh, this is Akeem. Nice to meet you. Good evening. My name's Akeem. How Akeem, we just uh, you found him outside of Home Depot today and uh, like, he, was hey. just, he was just lost and. We brought him to the movies last night. Lost in night. the wild. Lost in the wild, yeah. <laughs> so today you, you met him and you took him to the movies last night? That is right. I'm yeah. a time traveler. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yep, wow, wow, wow. You can, you can talk a little louder there, bud. Yeah, speak okay. up, man. I, We're not going to judge you. It, no. Rick, you we guys can't know. hear me? We no, can we hear can't. you. You're just like... Uh, See your lines here? All right, I don't uh, sound uh, like Shaq. Oh, Jesus. You're dead. All right, you got to make me sound like Shaq. My name is Akeem. Like Shaq? This is Akeem. You want to see a dead body? He's Kazam Want to see a dead body? You, you remember the girl from Pitch Perfect? Should I start yeah. talking loud like this? Like, Hi, my You're not peeking. So I feel like it's very poignant after okay. all the vomit. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you want to see it? <laughs> I almost saw one. Um, but anyways, this is the Let's Be Real podcast with Tyler, Juan, Savannah, and Akeem. Akeem? Ake Akeem, not Akon, <laughs> not Akon, bro, not Akon. I said Akon. I said, I said, I said Akon. Bro, authors of pain. Akon. Akon and Razor. Akeem, not Hakeem. How do you spell Akeem? A K I M. Nice. Nice. So I got it right. Akim. Akim. No. <laughs> Akim. A K I M. He's about to snap everybody. Not so Akon. guys. Uh, uh, well, well first of all, welcome. <laughs> I have to clarify that. Welcome. He hasn't been on YouTube in a while. He, yeah. Uh, he actually. He actually used to have his own, uh, own YouTube channel called So Help Me React. He yes. used to react to all the popular music out today. Yes. Nice. Um, but copyright sucks ass. That's what killed killed it. Yeah. Well, it, there's one. Copyright and like, you know, just like, you know, people in general, you know, mm -hmm. just, you know, just rude comments and shit. I got tired of it. So. I bet. Yeah. Uh, I kind of took a break and then just turned into a whole year turned since I last uploaded. It was a so. long break. Yeah. It was, it, was a really, yeah. it was a permanent break. I do yeah. want to come back, though. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, okay. I just got to find a time for it. Yeah. That's basically yeah, it. Bro. Well, let's be real. Uh, what a better time than now. Right. Yeah. Right? Today we so are... So help react. So help us react <laughs> <laughs> to uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Yes. The Gosh. last one. So <laughs> we're going to go around... I the hope not, man. The, the way... Uh, uh. How are we gonna do this one? Well, Break it down. well, speaking, Savannah had said it was last one. Savannah, James, you got notes over there? James Gunn said that it was his last one, and the somebody director, online right? today, yeah, so somebody online today said that it was a James Gunn movie first, then an MCU movie. Just the way it was paced, like if you watch his other movies, yeah. and then go watch this one. Mm -hmm. um, They've it's all been like that. Very though. similar, yeah, because they're all James Gunn. But I mean, like, did a great job. It wasn't like it wasn't like a. Marvel film first, then a director, you know, like Taika Waititi did with Thor Watiti. Love and Thunder. Like that mm -hmm. was, that was his, that was his project. That's what he did. That basically, that's what they're saying. He really put his foot in it. Definitely. And the pacing of the movie, I just thought was perfect. So anyway, before we do that, we're going to go around the room. Sorry, we got Keem. Then we're going to go Tyler Savannah and then myself. Okay, can we start with you? Yeah. Because I want to. <laughs> <laughs> with just general thoughts. Just okay. general thought. So we're going to say what you thought about not... Okay, so, so not how like you our felt whole about reaction, the movie? Just like a little thought. Right. So right now it's like, what did you think about the movie? Uh, probably, I want to say maybe like top five Marvel movies, one hundred percent. Like, dude, like it's perfect. Honestly, like, it just felt like a really nice send off to all the characters. You know, it's not just your, your cliche like, oh, this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened. You know, it just felt right, and you know. They respected the characters a lot. You know, you can tell there's some care put into it. And, you know, they didn't want to make the mistake of doing something stupid just for the sake of doing it. So there's a lot of heart uh, put in there. So, yeah, they did an amazing job with the, 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 the movie, all that. James Gunn, amazing. The cast did amazing, you know. Almost cried like twice, maybe three times. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much it. That's all I got. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> That's that. <laughs> well, uh, yes, he he reacted. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's your fucking reaction. I should fuck up. Oh man! All right. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What about so, you, Tyler? Yeah. Hmm. Moving on to Tyler. I'm trying not to curse so much. My fault. 
You're okay. Uh, <laughs> it's um. <clears throat> Look, man. <laughs> it to me, it was a. Uh, like I said, I'm. Gonna, this is controversial, but this hit home for me. To me, it's the. Mm, to, to me, it was the best Marvel movie ever created. Oh. He said it. That's where I'm standing at, and that's where that I'm came from. At. Tyler and Tyler only. You can quote him on that. <laughs> that's I'm not saying anything more. No. That's it. Okay. That's wow. a heavy statement, and that's all you. That's all you had to say. Yep. And wow. this is not a dream. State situation. <laughs> this is a... It's not a dream sequence? Yeah, this is not a dream sequence. This is the reality. Real life. And we'll explain why I think that too yeah. later. All right, your purple Savannah. Uh, I loved it. Uh, definitely top tier Marvel movie. Top tier. I also feel T-E-A-R. really, really biased because Guardians is my favorite franchise. Yeah. Love the Me everything too. about it. I loved it. <sighs> I, w- I went in with no expectations. And it blew oh, me away. No I did cry two or three times. I'm mm. like, wow. Hakeem, I didn't hold those tears back, baby. I was crying. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely loved it. That's all I have to say for now. All right. Yeah. Um, sober to me now. <laughs> well, there's nobody else in the room. We are. <laughs> well, we can go to Adam Cole back there. Uh, nice. Adam Cole, mid card. Or Bo-Katan. No. Nope. Or Mando. She's nope. not a character She's on the show. Marvel. Okay. Yeah. Well, well I, I thought this was like <laughs> the best Guardians movie. Um, and I think that this was the best Marvel movie in recent history. Um, I, I think that just, it was fantastic. The pacing was great. The, um, I don't know, He's just like lost word. the emotions um, that, that you're, you're made to feel in this movie for certain characters is really good. Um, yeah, the, the send off, like Akeem said, for all the characters going their separate ways. <laughs> but, um, every time you say your name, yeah, that's me. <laughs> I just thought, I just thought, it, and it was visually impressive too. It looked really good. It was, it looked, it looked good. Beautiful. Um, audio was good. Obviously, we saw it in the theater. But, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, I don't think it could have been better in any way. Facts. Yeah. All right, so is that the non-spoiler portion of the podcast? <laughs> yeah. Now we're going to get... I didn't know we were doing a non-spoiler part. I mean, go watch it. At I mean, this point, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. If, and you, then, if you have not then seen... Then come back. If you have not seen this movie, do not... I'm telling you, we're going to be talking about spoilers. So if you have not <laughs> seen this movie... Sorry for... you know. He wanted to say the F word there, just so you know. If you have <laughs> I'm, not I'm seen sure. this... Just, if you have not seen this movie... Watch it and then come over and watch this because if you, well, if, after if, the, you know what, after the first ten minutes, no, you know what, podcast. like screw it, it's, it's a warning, man. I don't even want you to watch the movie. Watch this first. <laughs> 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 they go watch the movie. Yeah. I mean, hey, because there's some people out there like me with certain movies. I'll watch spoilers. First. Spoilers. If I have no intention of watching the movie, I'll yeah, watch certain yeah, people yeah, yeah. review it. If yeah. I, yeah. Or if I, like I their... know, if I know I'm not gonna see it in the theaters, I'm just gonna be like, all right, screw it, I'm yeah. gonna watch it. I might as well. And then sometimes I'm like, I'm glad. I'm yeah. glad I didn't watch it. Oh, yeah. I wasn't missing much. Yeah. Like, I remember seeing Shazam, the first one in theaters, and I regretted <laughs> it. Horrible it, movie. Straight Terrible. ass water, man. I'm no, that's sorry. That's a bad superhero movie that, right that there. Dumpster juice. Straight dumpster juice. <laughs> there you go. Dumpster juice. <laughs> I, it's been a while since Dog I heard that. shit. I hate, bro, I hate myself for going there. It was like two two hours long. Well, Shazam. Yeah, both, horrible. Straight, Terrible. horrible, straight, this movie. straight hot dog water. Horrible, hot, hot dog, dog water. water. Straight, yes, hot Not dog, the hot dog ashy water. Ashy feet, ashy feet, crusty toe, <laughs> garbage. <laughs> That's what. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Tell look. us how you really feel, I, bro. Just use your sentence enhancers. Yeah. Yeah. This is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that movie. Oh, he said it. He yeah. said it again. And Craig, again? I know the you man. hate that. I know you love that movie. He, Which movie? Oh, Craig Shazam? likes that movie. He would. I know what you a love Craig that thing. movie. Craig, of course he likes that movie. <laughs> well, no, last Craig time we Adam all talked. No, you remember. Le- <laughs> hey, look, at, look, Adam Cole. You know what? He's always with us. In spirit. Yes. No, no, he's right. Oh, he's, he's right there. there. There's yeah. a glare. You just can't see him. He's it's just there, glory. Though. But yeah, he's Craig there. likes that movie. Yeah, he does. I don't. What Juan? Were you there when we talked about it last? What about Shazam? And he like. Um, yeah, like we were like it was like okay, man. Like I hey, think you, I think you believe so. Shazam's that good then. 
Craig, I just didn't Craig think it was is, good. for all those who don't know, Juan and Tyler and Akeem's friend that is apparently Shazam's only fan. Man, that shit was straight garbage, bro. Only fans. Who the fuck this nigga? <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. I hate that movie so much. I'm sorry. All right, continue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we No, that just opened up something in my... One of these episodes, we have to do top 10 most hated movies in our, like... That we hate so oh, much. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I will go on a oh, whole tangent. Right you got, you that would be a good one. You but, to, you but guys, I have a question. Please invite me on. So, hold on, episode. hold on. Controversial. I just have a question. Just to put a statement out there, if you've gotten this far in the podcast, you're going to get spoiled. Yeah. From yeah. now yeah. on, you're going to get If you don't want to get spoiled, p- skip past, watch the first 10 minutes, and then after that, just go watch the movie and then come back. At the 11 minute mark. And come hang out with us. No, and still watch this first, please. Well, that's up to you. Yeah. All right, you've I'm, been warned. If you don't, so don't get mad at us. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is on you if you decide to go. Trying to hit a thousand don't subs so we can monetize and feed my sub. Don't be in the comments talking about, oh my God, I want to spoil you. But well, gonna be, I, it'all be in there. Y'all All should right. put like the big like spoiler sign. Like spoiler. It'll be, it'll be on there. Okay, good, good. So, good. so Tyler, you, you had a question. I have a question, guys. I haven't done this in a while. Oh. It's the most important part of the podcast. I would say that for sure. So, uh, oh. <laughs> it's back, baby. Oh, well. baby. So, Akeem, I have a question for you and everybody in the room. Okay. So, well, it's not really a question. It's just like a, it's, it's just a statement. Okay. So, um, after achieving universal peace, the Guardians of the Galaxy settled down and opened a floor tile business. Do you guys want to know what the name of this business is, or you want to take a guess? No. What's the name of the business, either? <laughs> What's the name of the business, Tyler? Go ahead, because I already know. I am Grout. Jesus. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm gonna turn your microphone off. <laughs> and that was the last time we heard from Tyler the whole time. <laughs> you better unmute you're just my gonna microphone. Be, you're just gonna be background noise. You better <laughs> unmute my microphone. How you gonna How you gonna mute my microphone? I didn't mute it. I'm just saying I was going to. I That's crazy. am Grout. That is so funny. Mm. I am. <laughs> See, guys, look. <laughs> I love dad jokes. I like dad jokes, too, but when they're good. <laughs> but that's the thing, though. Dad jokes just are awkward, and they're not funny all the time. Not all the time, no. I am grout. <laughs> that that just depresses me. Now, later this week, you're going to think of that. You're going to be like, you're going to, I am grout. No, I'm not. And you're going to laugh. No, I'm going to just text you. you randomly I'm not. a f- picture of a piece of tile with grout in it. And it's going to say, I am I'm just going to ask you, why the fuck do you send me a picture of a piece of grout, bro? <laughs> just what why I Why do. did you send me a pile of grout, man? I love that we finally understood Groot as a whole oh. at the end of the movie. Hey, thank God. He said, I love you guys. Honestly, I feel like that could have never happened and I would have been okay with it. Like, he would never have had to say other words. So, I agree. So, how are we going to do I, this? But I think it fits in because of Gamora. So how how are we gonna do this? What do you mean? There's like four of us discussing this movie, right? We all talk at the same time. Cause it's like if we just all like go on different like rant like ramble about different parts of the movie. Like how do y'all want to? You know what I'm saying? I just what do you, what do you what do y'all want to do? Just as it pops in our head, we can say it and discuss it, and then move on to the next person that that's has fun. something that has okay, to say. Okay, yeah, that's fun. Tyler wants to talk about, or one wants to talk about. That's cool with me. Groot using words besides "I am Groot." Well, I mean the whole movie. Well, not the whole movie. The when they introduce Gamora, it's pretty early into the movie. Um, you know, she was talk. Groot would say something to her, and she goes, "I know who you are." And he says, "I am Groot." She goes, "I know who you are." And then he keeps saying something to her, and everybody's like, "You're just making up what he says." Right? <laughs> so then, towards the end of the movie, she, he says, "I am Groot" to her, but she understands what he says, and she responds to him like. Like he was speaking her language. Mm-hmm. Did he? Did she? Or did she just make up what he said? No, I don't think so because no. it, they they wouldn't have put him saying "I love you guys" in English at the end of. So the do movie. you think that's what she heard, or that's what he actually said? I think it's probably not mm. exactly what he said. That's a good point. It, you yeah. know what I mean? It's probably because when they talk in different languages, sometimes we just hear it as all English, mm-hmm. but they are speaking in different languages. That's true. So I wonder if he did actually say that or he said, I am Groot. I just wish we got a family joke because it's Vin Diesel playing him. Like family. Yeah, I thought it was like family. Like, 
Like, like um, yeah, that, that would have been fun. Every time I see Vin Diesel at the premiere, I'm like, what is he doing here? And then I remember. He that's plays right. great. And then we're like, yeah. then, then we One think. last ride. And we think, man, this guy's actually one of our favorite characters in this movie. I mean, does he, I feel like, I wonder if they bring him in for like the theatrics of it. Like, does he really need to come in and record it for every movie? Yes. Well, if you hear it, like Groot, like he, whenever he says something, his tone of voice is different. Different. You know what I mean? I just want to Even when he was like a teenager and I am Groot. Whoa. (laughs) I am Groot. Oh. Poor guy. Hard, Hard day at work. I mean, he could realistically record the whole movie in one day. That's probably what they do. Yeah. It depends, on, like, unless he messes up on purpose and then just, like, so he has no, to do we're dragging takes. this part out. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, something I noticed that I really liked about this movie was, like, the first movie, they really weren't it yet. Like, they had just met. And then the second movie, like, they had known each other for a minute. But it, this movie, like, they've been through so much by the time we're seeing this. Like, they're so bonded. They're such a unit. And you can really tell by, like, their individual dynamics and then their dynamics as a whole. Like, they never really were, like, such a strong unit in the first two movies. Yeah. I feel like that was really enjoyable to watch. It really, it really touched wasn't me in the feelings. They really didn't start banding together. Banding? They, well, they really didn't start, like, bonding as mm-hmm. much you, you know go. what I mean? Like they were getting like towards the end of the second movie and then going into um, Infinity War and Endgame. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. I think they all, all of them except for Nebula, died pretty much. Yeah, and Rocket. Yep. Yeah, yeah. and Rocket. Rocket. I lo- I would I would still like to watch like Nebula and Rocket up to what they were doing their shenanigans yeah because they were in space they weren't on earth up no f- until and you can tell their bond is strong like when she made that comment like oh you know he's my friend and all the things he's done like the arm upgrade you could tell that really yeah i mean um ne- did ne- nebula took care of tony stark when he was in space didn't he did she uh i don't think so. they were all on the ship together right no she did not take care of him why would she take care of Tony Stark? She didn't take care of him. She was locked up in that little cell they had for her. When she was all open? Yeah, no, working for Thanos. At the beginning. Yeah, she didn't take because care of him. Because they were on they were on the Guardian ship together. <clears throat> yeah, but she wasn't because... one of the Guardians. Are you talking about Thor? No. At the beginning of Endgame, they were like playing the little... I'm not, I'm not talking about Endgame. I'm talking about Didn't Infinity you just say War. Endgame? No, I said Infinity War. No, I'm pretty no, sure you said Endgame. Endgame. That's when you just in, said uh, Endgame. That's when they were in space. Yeah. I don't ever remember. She didn't take care of him. No, No, she didn't take care of him. No, because in those movies, she wasn't even a good guy yet. She was playing the little football game. No, because Tony Stark was with Spider-Man and Mm -hmm. he was with um, Doctor Strange. Exactly. No, in Endgame, he was on a planet with Spider-Man. And all of the all of the guards of the galaxy. I don't think Nebula was a part of that. Nebula. She was. She didn't take care of him. She was a bad guy. She was locked in the cell on the ship. She wasn't a bad guy. I just don't think she was in that group. She was working with Thanos. Wasn't she on the ship in like captivity or something? Like yes, she was. They had her in up. captivity. Yes. Yeah, because when he wiped everyone out, I don't remember that she had a death scene. No, she did not. Yeah, she did not because it was only Tony Stark. And her who survived on that on that Earth on that planet on Thanos's planet. So that's why I was like I was trying to figure out. It just popped in my head that scene. No, she didn't take care because of because he was by so he he must have been by himself. But like I said at the beginning of Endgame, they were playing like a little football game with their fingers and stuff like that too. So they must have grown like some sort of friendship. Tony Stark. He's, yeah, Tony and uh, Nebula. So they were together then. Yeah, and, they were and, in space. Yeah, Tony. So that's what I'm saying. You, like because he was dying. Remember? Yeah, but there wasn't a scene. Yeah. I don't think there was a scene where she was actually working on him. I, that I'd I can't have to remember. Rewatch Not it, like honestly. so. Like yeah, so, he was Tony, dying. Really remember, matter. he recorded. He recorded a thing for Pepper Potts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was about to. I mean, to be honest, it doesn't really like. It doesn't do anything for this movie though. Like, it has nothing to do with this movie. I don't even know how we got here. You got us here. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you said inf- you said. Oh uh, no, because game. we were talking about we were talking about um, bond. We were talking about rockets bond and nebula's and bond. bond. But I, I was liked like, it. then I remembered that Tony Stark was also on the Guardian ship when Captain Marvel came and got them and brought them to Earth. Mm. 
Because I was trying to, I, in my head, I was trying to figure out how did they get to, how did Nebula and Rocket get to Tony's compound if they're in space the whole time? Hmm. I felt bad for Peter this whole movie. Just being so, uh, rejected. Rejected, heartbroken, upset with uh, Gamora. That one moment that him and Nebula have where he's like, I've never noticed that your eyes are so black. <laughs> they were replaced by my, my father. Well, he picked out a nice pair. Picked out a nice pair. That was so funny. Stop looking at me. So the plot of Guardians 3 Mm -hmm. um, was was Rocket Rocket Raccoon was injured. um, By who? Who was injured? He was injured by um, Adam Warlock. Adam Warlock. That um, was not how I thought they were going to play Adam Warlock. They tried. it was cool. They tried um, saving him with a med pack and. Did not work. Did not work because he has a. He has a kill switch on his heart. Mm-hmm. And if anybody was to dig around in there, his heart would immediately explode. That's like so petty, bro. And so they, Adam Warlock was there to capture him too. Yeah, so Adam Warlock was there to capture him because the what's the villain's name, Tyler? Um, the which one? The villain. The villain. What's his name? You, can you look him up? On I don't here? even think they gave the guy. I, they never really called him by no, a name. No, they. He must have. Can you? Gamora was talking about him for a while when they were giving us the. The rundown. Yeah. Can you look him up real quick? Just like yeah. the cast and then the creator. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got you. No, it wasn't the creator, but I got you. They called him something. Like um, Lee something. So. Not the Asian guy. That they. No, the black found. guy. The main guy that was wearing purple. Yeah. With the the face. I got you. Um. So yeah. So they have to um find. Him in order to save Rocky Raccoon because he ha- he's the guy who. Did all the experiments to him and everything. Um, also, um, in the meantime, while they're going from planet to planet, place to place, we're getting... High Evolutionary. High Evolutionary. That's his name? Yeah. That's yeah, the High Evolutionary. Um, so, in the meantime, while they're going around from place to place, the Guardians, we're getting flashbacks through Rocket. Um, like of how everything started, they're basically working on him since he was like a baby. It was nice to get his backstory because I feel like there's a lot of mystery and hype that they were putting in since the beginning. Yeah, like this mysterious backstory. Like you know it's bad when you get the glimpses of him, like without his shirt on. Like you know it's bad, and then it's like it's it's worse than you could have imagined. <laughs> so yeah, they were doing brain surgery on him at one point while he was awake. While he was awake, he felt everything, yeah. and um, the first thing he said when he's when he first started speaking the English language was hurts. hurts. He was in a lot of pain. It's so sad. And it's turns bad. out he's a batch. He's batch eighty nine. So there's like other batches, other batches of how many you know. The, the serial his serial number was so long you know and then his um, little group of friends his little group of friends were the so there was a bunny named floor who was a spider basically a spider bunny spider bunny she had like a, a metal mask a metal mask around her mouth i guess that's what allowed her to speak uh there was a uh, a, a walrus teeps yeah his name teeps um he had a wheelchair <laughs> He was in a wheelchair, so he can get around. His, like, eyelids were moved surgically. Like, he had little things on his actual eyelids, like little clips. Every time he blinked, it, like, moved. Yeah. That was... And then there was an otter uh, named uh, Lila. And she had... His girlfriend. That's what I gathered from the comics, but I don't think they really did that in the movie too much. They had a strong connection. Right, but it wasn't them. necessarily romantic. She had robotic arms. That was so sad. Because otters have little arms. That was a very sad moment. I thought when they were going to escape, I thought all of them were going to go. Yeah, that, that made me yeah. feel like... Um, when I actually jumped on the... Oh, the flashback. That made me like, absolutely... So sick, that part, so that was later... In yeah, the, the flashback, yes. The flashback where Rocket builds his little key card. He actually built that really quickly. Which, wait, I wondered why he waited so long. Because, like, he had all the parts there. Like, they were in his cage. I wondered why he was waiting. I mean, it seemed like it seemed like him and the High Evolutionary had, like, some type of relationship. He, yeah. You understand? He, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they, they had, like, a bonding with him. It was him. twisted, but it was a relationship. 
But it seemed like he trusted him in a way still, and then he finally got fed up with it. Right. That's that's the only thing I can yeah, think of. because he got jealous of his intelligence. <laughs> he solved mm-hmm. something that he couldn't figure out, and they had spent, you know, so long trying to figure it out, and the Rocket's like, oh, is this, isn't this? Got pissed. Yeah, but he, you know, rac- raccoons are smart animals. Right. People think that all animals are just dumb. They're not. They mm-hmm. have all different levels of intelligence. And raccoons are smart. They just think that they're not because they dig through trash. Right. They're nocturnal. Uh, yeah, and they're nocturnal. But um, so when you work on somebody's, when you work on their brain, like the way they, they were doing, to enable him to speak our language. And um, so they probably boosted his intelligence by doing that as well. Um, so it made him smart, you know. And also, like, he was teaching him, like, when he was younger, um, through begins to various flashbacks, he was sh- he was kind of teaching them certain things, and like you would a child, like they would ask, "What's that?" or "What's this?" and you tell them what it is, things like that. That uh, scene where he's escaping and like Lila gets shot, it's like, "Oh, this is so sad," but at least he has teeths and floor, and then. Turn around. Um, so oh, yeah, that was the security so comes like, in and sad. starts the fact shooting. That he, he like escaped and everything, and then that's when he really said, and that all his friends are like dead. I'm just like, fuck, dude. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more how he met up with Groot. Me too. Like, Me too. Can we just have a nice flashback? <laughs> are they all sad, or are they all gonna make me cry? Jesus. And they did. <laughs> well, I kind of thought when we were getting the I Am Groot TV show. <clears throat> on Disney Plus, that's what I thought they were going to do. The little shorts. No. They were shorts, but they were just fun little shorts to keep us entertained. But when I heard a Groot TV show, I was like, oh, maybe we're going to get like a little, we're going to see Groot's home planet, see where he comes from, see how he meets Rocket. Comes from my backyard, bro. Psych. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> no, we're not. Yeah, because I got that vibe that Groot and Rocket were together for a while. They were, because when they meet... Um, Quill. They all meet in the prison. Right. And uh, Quill, um, Groot and Rocket share a prison cell. So they were captured together. But they were like a unit no, they before. Didn't, they didn't meet in prison. They were already friends when they, they were hunting Quill. Remember, they they all met because of the units. that They were, they all got the arrested Infinity together. Stone. They all got arrested together outside uh, of jail. Remember that? Yeah. But like, Rocket there was that big, they were Groot. like chasing. But Drax, Drax was already there, wasn't he? Yeah, ja- Drax, Drax was, already was already in jail. In jail. Yes, he was okay. already there. Yes. Drax like killed a bunch of people too because of that, right? To get in debt. Yes. In the first place. He didn't get called the destroyer he was Drax for nothing. The destroyer. Murdering everybody. Yeah. I would but yeah, murder but, everyone but too. But Quill, his Quill Gamora, Gamora was hunting Quill because of the stone. Yes. And Groot. And, and Groot and Rocket were trying to get the stone because they wanted so the they could make money. Right. And Quill was trying to grab it to protect it. So they all right. get arrested. By but you can tell what, by who their... is it? What was it called? Not Lab Corp. What are they called? <laughs> uh, something Corp. Like the police for the yeah. universe. I thought you were talking about Oscorp. I'm like, what? No, Oscorp. <laughs> Oscorp. Oscorp. Could you imagine? That's not the crossover we want. Uh-huh. <laughs> nope. But yeah, I just love it. It just it was so sad every time Gamora was on the screen because you could tell that she was upset because like maybe she wanted to be Nova Corp. Nova Corps, yeah. That's it. I didn't even have to look it up. You could tell that she was getting frustrated com- being compared to herself, someone that she was never going to get to ever because the situation's ever going to happen again. I could tell that she was frustrated and then mm-hmm. watching them interact and just getting pissed because, you know, I'll never be that person. And um, Quill kept pushing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he was pushing hard for her to be the old Gamora. A Gamora that... Never happened because of situations. Right. Fucking Thanos, man. That bald motherfucker. Hmm. Thanos Thanos never pushed her to the edge enough to where she wanted to leave. Absolutely. So, you know, he, he was kind of... Yeah, At that, that point, they were still working together. And then well, Thor... He, t- he treated her like a real daughter. Thor Nebula killed Nebula was the... The one that got a boom. Yeah. yeah. Nebula was the one that got the rocket treatment. Right. And she even said... They're treating him worse than when she, she was. said that. It's like, oh, because I mean, that's her whole thing. That's she Nebula's that was, whole thing. She said that was worse than Thanos. When she would go into detail about like what <clears throat> Thanos did to her, it's like, damn, that's rough. And then when she said that, I was like, whoa, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean that is worse because at least Thanos, he probably would at least put her to sleep when he was changing her human right. body parts to robot parts. You know what I mean? And he had a reason, like even if it was twisted and messed up, like he was you know, making her the perfect. 
right machine versus what 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 the what's his name the almighty high the high priestess high um, evolutionary high evolutionary um was he just wanted to create a society of just animal looking people yeah he had no regard for people or things he just wanted to do something so he could do it and just one up himself constantly talk about the, the high evolutionary guy we were just talking about yeah, yeah. The fuck was a monster. Yes. But um as far as like the actor goes for the high evolution. Phenomenal. Amazing. Phenomenal. Dude did an amazing job, man. Like, his his delivery everything, dude. Yeah. His delivery in every scene that he's in, especially when he's angry. Like when he was yelling at Rocket because he he figured out how how and it worked and he was mad and he wanted to know how he figured it out. And he he's just he goes, He's just a dumb animal. You know what I mean? Like his delivery on that line was amazing. Like his his mannerisms and everything, and then also towards the end when he's using his telekinetic powers to move to push Rocket around through the um through the through the room that they're in, he's just yelling and spitting, and like his emotions were showing. You know what I mean? He was seeing a vein like in the corner of his head too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it's it was his delivery was amazing. Um, I definitely want to go and watch under uh, other movies that he is in. He's the in. Actor. What's he's, the actor's name? He's Tyler? in. Um, I'm sure you've seen him. Um, the one with John Cena. I forget. I forget the name. No. Peacemaker. Peacemaker. Yeah, he's, he's in Peacemaker. He's in Peacemaker. He's in Peacemaker. Yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah, so I'll, I'll have to check that out. He did great. I, I do too. have HBO Max. Yeah. I wish they had gone like a little more into him and his backstory. Like I don't know if it's just because we're used to like uh, Thanos. Like they had built Thanos up from like the first, the first basically serious MCU movie, and then this guy, which I don't believe he's dead. We never saw a body. I don't think he's dead. Yeah, you didn't see him die. No, we did not see him no, die. No, I don't think he's dead. His ship didn't blow up, blow up. Like, pieces of it were blowing up. He could have gotten out of that. I he needed could've... to see him get his head blown off. Yeah. That's why I wanted. Yeah, I definitely Give think he's I alive. Want. Yeah, it's like a whole, it's like a, it's like um, <clears throat> King the Conqueror in Ant-Man. You didn't really see him die. He just got sucked back into where he was the originally. Quantum. He probably the still alive somehow, mm. some way. Somehow, he's probably still alive. Who? The, the, the high... High evolutionary guy. Yeah. That dude, he's probably alive. Well, Even though his face is like burnt off and they jumped him. Like he older. Yeah, they somebody. like. They I want to know what happened <laughs> to him, what got him there. Because right. he was mostly robotic. Yeah. Um, was he ever human? I mean, Rocket couldn't have done all that crap to his face, bro. He That's did, like, though. Oh, so I don't, I don't, he was just scratching like a, you know, like a cat. No. Like, I think he, he, he attacked him. Oh, yeah, well, he yeah. really attacked him. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, he deserved from he deserved because yeah. if you look Fuck if you look at him when he was taking care of Rocket versus at towards the end, he had more of his he had more of a head. His right. his his skin actual hey man, skin went further back. He peeled on his, his head. muffin back blue. That's yeah, and did. then he had that one little chip on his side of his head, like in the flashbacks. He <laughs> right. looks more humanoid. He, yeah, and then there's even an even further fa- flashback of him that they show where. He has a whole head, like he has hair and everything. Mm-hmm. Right. So nice you know, I, I would like to know how he got there. Well, I'm sure he probably didn't want to get old, and I'm sure he made modifications on himself to keep himself. Yeah, but I mean, like, is he is other bits of him robotic, or is it just so. like his cranium? How do you sure, have I that mean, telekinesis power? That's what I want. It know. only showed he his was, uh, his head. He's very strong too. Like you right. see, when he was angry, like he blew up most of the room towards the he end. He killed this. everybody inside yeah. that room. I think. But yeah, I think he did. Did you ever find the actor's name? Yeah, I just can't uh, pronounce it, but I'll try and not butcher it. Give it Chuck a shot. Woody, Chuck Woody, 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 Woody. Woody. What else has he been in? I don't know. He's been in Peacemaker. That's all. That's I really it. Know. Uh, there's probably more. Yeah, I loved it. I thought he did he's a great job. He's a Nigerian job. actor. He's been. He's in, in John Wick. Peacemaker, ah. the girl who got away. John Wick Chapter Two, Designated Survivor, Exam. Hmm. Um, those are just like the. Was that pop up now? Most recent. Yeah, yeah. I want to see more of him. Before we get I, off the topic. I, I definitely do want to see more of that actor. Really good. Whatever's. You know what also occurred to me too? Like, if they had never, like, if, I guess he started the whole series of events that led them to getting to him. Like, he hired Adam Warlock to go get Rocket. But, like, if that never happened, they would have never crossed paths. Whereas, like, with Thanos, it was going to happen. It was a matter of if. It was a matter of when. Mm -hmm. But this guy, like, he was out doing his crazy shit the whole time. Like, when Gamora and um, Nebula were talking about him, it was like, oh, yeah, we all know who he is, that weirdo. 
So I thought that was, I don't know, just odd. Well, there, you know, he's in deep space. Thanos was in deep space. So, and and like, I'm sure I'm, we'll find. I'm out about pretty it later. sure like Thanos sent Nebula and Gamora to do something with him Not or to do something. Mm-hmm. No shot. We were always gonna meet Thanos though. Like Thanos made his mission to, he was gonna snuff out half the the galaxy. Right. Whereas like this guy was like, let's just make a weird Earth. And I think I think speaking of like Thanos, um, he. You know, he came to Earth a lot earlier, earlier probably than he wanted to, because of who Loki, Thanos. Um, because of Loki, if I remember the first Avengers film. Earlier than he wanted to. I mean, he was in deep, deep, deep space, and so Loki went to him and asked him for like his things, the his 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 henchmen basically, and brought them all to New York. Mm-hmm. And he probably looked at uh, Earth and was like, "Whoa, this place is like ridiculous." That we need to get rid of these people first. You know, so what the I mean? same basic principle. Like they wouldn't have found out about him until if Loki. If it was if Loki didn't bring him to Earth, it wouldn't have happened. The timeline how it wouldn't have, it wouldn't mm. have gone. You know what I mean? Yeah. So and then plus one of a good portion of the Infinity Stones were on Earth. Coincidentally, as well. So every time I think of the Infinity Stones, I think of that one scene from loki when they open up the drawer and it's mm-hmm. just like they're, they're all, in there yeah it just really makes you realize that the whole infinity thing was a blip in the the grand scheme of things oh whatever whatever Absolutely. whatever they're going towards now they're really pushing that the infinity stones weren't really that big of a deal oh, that big of a deal when it was a what, big deal for so long it was for 10 years and then now what they're building to is even bigger i kind of dislike that sentiment you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the thing they spent so long building up, they're instantly. Go go to the bathroom then. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. If you gotta go to the bathroom, go. Yeah. yeah go ahead. Make your calls. I mean, go. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I, I do notice that that's where they're going. I wonder if that's why they're creating all these bad guys. Are you pausing guys. it or no? Do you want Do you want to stop? Oh, I thought you were. I I just it. muted his mic so it doesn't pick up that. Oh, okay. Oh. Um. So. Savannah and I were. He'll be right back. Oh, I, <laughs> you want to wait? No, I said he'll be right back. Okay. Oh, yeah. Savannah and I were talking. We we're like, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, Peter Quill's back on Earth, and it, yes. and then at the very end, it said he will return. Right, Star- the legendary Star Lord will return. I'm kind of thinking he's gonna do something Earth related. Um, so like, I think we're gonna get back to the Celestials. Yeah, we were. That wasn't. Yeah, at the end of Eternals. Yeah. Yep, that's... So you think he's going to be there when well, the they show up? I think so, because they're on Earth. He's going to... He's gonna His his instinct to save, to help people is going to kick in, and he's yeah, who probably... Who is this exactly? Peter Star-Lord. Will. He's on Earth. Yeah. He's, end credit scene. Well, I mean, it already said he'll he's, be there. That's what I'm saying. He'll be returning. That's what I'm saying. So, like, I'm, I'm thinking he's going to not team up, but see... He's gonna hear about what the what the Celestials are doing. I wonder He's where probably, Eternal falls in this timeline. Yeah, they never really established where in the in the timeline of the MCU this takes place. I don't because know. this could this could all be before what happens in Eternals, where that where the big um, thing comes out of the Earth. Yeah, the big Celestial. Yeah, because no one has mentioned that since, so that could be that Hasn't could be in yet. the future. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm. So because uh, no other, no other, uh, the only thing that was mentioned in in Eternals was um, how come they didn't inter intervene when Thanos? Oh, so they do acknowledge the blip. I'm, I'm a, yeah, I'm yeah, they do, yeah, absolutely. They acknowledge the That's blip. That's right. But, you you okay, so yeah. I, I would think that it's in the future then. Yeah. So I'm, I'm a, but I'm a, the Eternals. Well, if you think about it, they stop. So they stopped. The uh the celestial from birthing, right? But it's still hanging out. So, but then they killed it. Wait, wait. So, the more people that are on Earth, makes the celestial birth faster, right? Okay. So wouldn't this movie take place after? Wouldn't that have taken place after they reverse the snap? This does take place after that. Yeah, like right after it take right after the snap. Not directly after. You I think sure? some time has passed. Now, let me find this out. 
What are we talking about? Eternals? Yeah. Yes. Because that's the whole thing with the Celestial being birth. It was. It's not because they destroyed it, and that's why that other one pops. And he's like, "Yo, I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm about to collect." I'm just saying, like, what what are they gonna have for for Star Lord? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, is he gonna do stuff with, um, involving like any of our Disney shows that we have, like, like Captain America, She Hulk, in the Falcon. You know, She Hulk. We're getting a Daredevil show. You Spider know, Man. Yeah, Spider Man. I feel like it'll probably be like that one reoccurring character that like helps out when it's needed, and then he'll just dip. Because remember, like the new Captain America. If you remember, um, back to No Way Home, was the spell like that um, Peter requested? Was it everybody on Earth who remembered um, yes. Peter Parker as Spider Man, or just everyone who's ever met? Peter Parker and known him to be Spider Man that he's gonna forget. I think it's everyone that was on Earth because that that would mean that Peter Quill, Peter Quill, Star Lord is gonna go looking for. I think that was the case because I remember when he said that I was thinking like, oh, the Guardians on aren't on Earth right now. Yeah. So they would remember. And him. neither is Thor. Thor wasn't on Earth at the time. Right. Because <coughs> he was with them. Right. So. That's interesting. So it's just kind of interesting where they, they can they can take a lot of roots here because now that he's on Earth, right? You know what I mean? And I'm I'm pretty sure he's not going to be like I'm retired or I'm taking a vacation. He's, he's trying to take a vacation. Yeah, but I mean, like like I said, his instinct for helping people is gonna is gonna pop up. And he wouldn't got... be like, oh, I see, there's a celestial coming to kill Earth. I'm on vacation though. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So I I would I'm kind of interested in see where they go. Mm-hmm. Or even even if we even if it's unannounced and it's probably in the in the in the talkings at Disney, if we're gonna get a Star Lord show on Disney Plus, mm-hmm. that'd be cool. That's something I'd watch. Uh, I feel mm. like I would I feel I would want to watch it, but I don't think it would be good. I don't know, man. I feel like him as a standalone. I like him as a standalone. But, he's the best when he's playing off everyone. Yeah, but they all are. Yes, that, that whole no, ensemble. Is yes, perfect. but I wouldn't. I don't think him as a standalone will solve anything. That that seems like a panic move. Like I to said, have him as a show. Yeah, like it's like, oh my gosh, what, let's just have Starlet as own, own show. No, I don't think they're Perfect. desperate for ideas that they would do that, and I don't think he. I'm wants saying to that, do that. It, it seems like it would be a panic. Oh like, yeah, like it, would it would be a be desperate like, move. It would be like, oh my gosh, we have no. Idea. Let's give him our own show. Right. In theory, that would be good, but I just don't think that would. No, because I... Peter Quill isn't as interesting as he is with everyone else around him. No, yeah, he's uh I mean he's obviously like one of the I mean best characters mm-hmm. in the in the in the movie but in the in Guardians of the Galaxy. He's not Wolverine. No. He's yeah. not. No. He's not. I love the music in this movie too. I was nervous every, about every that. Every every Guardian soundtrack is amazing. Top notch. Yeah, um, top tier. Know, someone had an issue with the last song that played at the end of the movie. Who had wait? Which which song was it? Oh, Florence it was and the um, "Dog Days Are Over" by Florence and the Machine. I was just thinking that's kind of an interesting song to be chosen, <laughs> right? This is such a one thing to have an issue with. I don't have an issue with it. I, I'm gonna stop having opinions. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it sounds like you got an issue with it. I don't. I'm just thinking like, okay, every song mm-hmm. is like this classic rock song, and then he goes to 2000s and he chooses like an indie artist that does folk music. So it's kind of like. Okay. That's, I like that's, it. That's a little. This I I don't have an issue with the artist or the song. I like Florence and the Machine. I have a couple of her albums. Maybe Yondu was a big fan of that. So and maybe he, he was. R. P. Yondu, bro. I'm, and, just, uh, I'm just saying it was it was Craglin. like when I, I heard, think it was when different I, when I heard the 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 first like chords of the song. I was like, that's different. That's not that's not what I expected he would play when I, you know, when I he clicked we, on the two thousands playlist. I think we all expected it to be like another classic rock song. And then when I started the first few notes, I was like, oh, see, this is different. So why I are, you, why are you mad at me? Because when you when what's you, that song called? Dog Days Are Over by Florence and the Machine. When, when you made a comment about it, I was like, oh, all I, I had the same. I liked it. I, I didn't. It was have a great. A had a really. Did you I like don't it? have a problem with the song. I'm just saying it was just. Okay, it had a really good. Oh, 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 here we go. Here we go. <laughs> You know what dynamic I thought was hilarious? The whole movie when uh, Drax was like um, second best friend. I don't have an opinion on that. <laughs> Dude, stop, man. No. Don't don't be like that. Take a little joking. 
It's okay. Did you recognize that guy that was in the um that s- flush station they were in? That one guy, Nathan Fillion. Yes. Yeah, I watch the show The Rookie every week on ABC. Isn't he in Firefly? Right. Firefly. The, that like cult classic show. Oh, I don't know. I didn't watch it. <coughs> He's been in a lot of stuff. Yes, I like him. I like that he was in it. That was a nice little little yeah. cherry on top. I like him as an actor. He's yeah. good. That's the only opinion I have. I feel like that song has like a bittersweet ending towards it because he knows the end of like the trilogy. Plus, it's like the first time to actually like all happy, especially Rocket, because Rocket was like, like dancing around, smiling, and shit. he was cutting a rug. The yeah. lyrics, the lyrics make, <coughs> the lyrics make sense. I was just, I was just a little thrown off. That's yeah. all. It was, it was definitely bittersweet. Drax, you know? the father. Oh, when Finally she gets the family. Oh, that part hit me. Yeah, that was so sad. Yeah. No, I cried on that part. Because it's true. I remember, like, the only time he would be happy, like, in the first the first movie is when, when he, he was talking about, about his, his wife and his daughter. Yeah, she and said, like, you're not a destroyer. You're meant to be a father. Yep. Right. And, I mean, anyone would be that I upset cried. if he watched both of the people he loved most die right in front of him. Because of Thanos. Yeah. I, <clears throat> this, this one really made me. This was emotional for me. Dude, I always felt like they were playing up Mantis and Drax. I thought they were going to do something with that, and then they never did. And I was like, oh. It would, I, Yeah. I mean, they had a chemistry, but it wasn't. It was more like brother, sister, or cousin mm-hmm. than anything else. When he was, like, faking her out, like, we're not going to get on the motorcycle. And she's like, all right. He's like, we're going to just go over there, back to the ship. And she's like, okay. And then they get on it, and they, whoop, just kidding. <laughs> we're not going to the ship. <laughs> that was funny. And then, like, he had the, he had the was it the Star Nuts? Whatever. Yes, he and he didn't give any to Mantis, and he's like, he, "Oh, there's no, more. there's no more." He offered it to her earlier, no and she was mad at him, so she didn't take it. And then mm-hmm. she goes, "Maybe I wanted one," and he goes, "Well, they're all gone." And then he proceeds to eat more out of the, the last bag. one. <laughs> <laughs> the Quill and Mantis dynamic, like it just, like I know they're related, but it just seems so. I don't know. It's don't just, say it. It's what? Don't say it. Don't say what? I know where you're going. Of, where, where, where am I going? <laughs> they're brother and sister. Yeah. I know. What is she going to say? <laughs> what were you thinking? I know. That's what she goes with everything. Don't yell I, at me. You're, you're this gonna... isn't going to a sexual place. To yeah. That's exactly what one was thinking. That, you no. I can't believe it. She no. always goes there. Wow. Alabama. You're preying on Mantis. That's crazy. No. She always goes there. No, That's I a just, lame joke. I don't, she was not going there. It doesn't feel like they're brother and sister. It just feels like Boom. they're really good friends. Oh, okay. Thank you. That wasn't making anything the pervy past. this time. This time, see this time. See, it's not like the awkward tension between uh, Nebula. Um, no, not Nebula of um, in Black Panther oh. with Umbaku and Princess. That was some tension. They need to this get it is, on. Mantis and uh, I totally Peter Quill. About that. Just like they just seem like best friends almost. Right, yeah. which I guess is what you want in a sibling. Yes, not, I love that she not took a the little monsters. Relationship one. Don't look at me when you say that. Not look at Savannah. Relations. <laughs> Those are the same monsters from the second one, the opening scene with Baby Groot. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They eat batteries. I like how she was just like, "All right, let's they roll." Eat, they she don't, got they the three of them. I was like, "Oh, that's awesome." That was so cute. She's like, "How that running joke they they had the whole movie? Like, did that look cool?" Yeah, did that look cool? That, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this was a perfect movie because, like, I feel as if after Guardians came out, they're like, "Oh, we can make jokes in superhero movies, and they can be funny. Let's just do this, even when it doesn't work." But Guardians, it, did it, it right. always hits. Yeah, I'm just really glad that you know they had like serious moments that didn't mess up with a joke. Right. Like they always like I think in Guardians two they did that one time and it irked my nerves so bad. Okay. Yeah, it irked my nerves so bad. Like the part where they're all like everything was exploding around them and everything was like a really badass shot and then mm-hmm. just gets hit and Batista was like right. Oh, Oh, watch out! I'm like, it was a little too waka waka, dude. Like, what the fuck? Like, I hate I did just like a little it. bit. Like after the first movie, like it's so good. Then the second one, it was good, but it wasn't as good. And then the third one was. This was amazing. literally the best trilogy, besides yes. Captain America trilogy. I disagree with Honestly. that, but that's okay. But um, this was this that. was literally one of the best trilogies in Marvel history. Yeah. Better than Iron Man. I I didn't I don't know that much about um, Adam Warlock, Spider-Man. but I didn't think of him as like a silly character. 
Better than which this? Spider-Man are you talking about? This trilogy is better than any Marvel trilogy besides Captain America. Oh, you need, you oh need besides, to get bias, bro. better than Spider-Man. I mean, Spider-Man trilogy. is better than Captain America. This is better than the Spider-Man trilogy. That's you mean what? one like, like the oh, Tom, Tom Holland? Absolutely, Tom Holland one. Anyone? Yeah, you got you to go, bro. All of them combined. <laughs> you got to go. You gotta, you gotta How go. is it not? Go, How is it not? I, I don't know, man. Like that. How is that, it not? Right, the first home Homecoming was great. Far From Home was great. And then freaking, what was the last one? No Way Home was great? Yeah. Yeah, that was amazing. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Yeah. Guardians Spider-Man of the Galaxy 3. 2. And Guardians bro, of the Galaxy bro, Volume 3 bro, was great. With Tobey Maguire. Tobey Maguire came back as Spider-Man. You mean to tell me that's not fire? That is definitely fire. Okay, so... so. But did you not hated. see how this movie was? This movie was, yeah, it was untouchable it was compared yeah, to I said top five. You're talking about the best top of all time. It's best of all time. Hey, you, gotta, you gotta go, bro. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta go, bro. It's best of all time. Anyway, <laughs> it's the best of all time. Anyway, right? anyway, uh, so uh, yeah, that fight scene was amazing. So why was it? Why is it better than uh, the why fight? Spider-Man the better? fight scene was good. Tell me why it's better. <laughs> the fight scene was really good, guys. Tell me why Spider-Man's <laughs> better. The fight scene was Spider-Man really good, guys. Spider-Man is better than Captain America. I just want, no, I didn't say that. Bro, talk about Guardians. It's just a. Fence. How is it better? The, um, Spider-Man's better than Cap- Guardians. Is that what you're saying? That's what he said. The, I said the trilogies. That, I said all the, of them. As a body of work. Yeah, it's like... No, it, it, I would say... You're talking about better than one... No, I'll probably say like they're on par. No, nah, I'm saying... You can't tell me so, oh, why mean, Spider-Man is better. Okay, so when you say, when you say that... When the, I say better, I mean one is obviously more superior than the other. So like you one mean, is like, just you mean better. Like, you mean like this movie takes a dump on the, the Spider-Man? It's better. It's not like comparing Daredevil with Ben Affleck and Guardians. That's it's not a. It's not an easy. But I'm saying it's, it's not still, still, okay, okay, still so, better. Okay, I'm not, okay, I'm not saying that. When would? Why would I say that Spider Man is absolute dog crap? Is I, that I, what I'm, I'm saying I'm, to you? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, bro, I'm not gonna sit here. Aren't and you say, glad you clarified that? I am yeah, yeah, not yeah. gonna sit here and say Shazam's great. That's literally yeah, yeah, what I feel yeah, like. Yeah. If you said that Shazam was yeah. Daredevil, was Shazam. Better, I think is better than Shazam. Oh, uh, Green Lantern was better than Shazam. But anyways, before we get off topic, guys. Yes. Um, the fight scene was really good. Cool. The fight scene in the hallway. I love yeah, that. That's probably my favorite. Yeah, that well, was... They were all together doing their thing. The sweeping uh, camera angles that James Gunn decided to use. Loved it. Loved it. Gamora with that long knife. The wrestling fan in me wanted to see Batista hit a spear. Give me what I want. Like a Batista bomb. He hit a clothesline. So, I want to. I want a Batista. Like Batista I thought moves. Batista died through a table. Yeah, me too. I thought. We I thought Batista. when he got shot by that gun. Batista oh, loved yeah. dying in movies, though. Batista. Batista loved dying. I movies. thought he was gonna die. I had heard I, that too. he was gonna die. Because he dies in every movie, yeah. every single time. He's just dead, 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 dead. I, which, I just okay want to know that. which, like, which character's death, like the almost the almost everybody in the group almost died. I yeah, Gamora died. <laughs> <laughs> She's still dead, apparently, in some type of universe. She's still alive. But, like, out of the characters that, like, died, that we thought were going to die, mm-hmm. and then they didn't, which one, like, were, or hit Quill. you the hardest? Quill. 100% Quill. When right. he almost died? Yeah, when his face starts swelling up, I'm like, oh. I was okay just like with Yagi. that. But I was like, see, that was, out of everybody's death, that would have been the one where I'm just like, it makes sense. Right. I would have been okay that... with that. I would have been okay with Drax dying, because I know how much Dave did not want to play him anymore. Yeah. But... If if Peter Quill was supposed to die, I was I was gonna say full circle I been moment. At peace with I would have been like, that's the one that makes sense. That that his death would have made sense the most if if they went through with it. If yes. no, if no right. one was able to actually go out there and save him, right? That would have made sense because he saved everyone and everything. But on couldn't that other save shift. himself. Right. He tried. Oh yeah. If they had killed Rocket, but Rocket, but when have, when, yeah. when Rocket got hurt and th- he was dying, and he actually did die on the table for a couple minutes, and he's he asked Otter if he can go. It, uh, that hit me hard because uh, the whole time I'm thinking they're doing this, they're doing this. I can't believe they're doing this. Like and I'm not ready for this. And it was like towards the end of the movie when they when right. they, when I saw when I saw Otter, I was like, dang, he's, yeah, he's cooked, man. Like I like I cried on, I cried on that part, but yeah, yeah. For some for some reason, I was like. It doesn't. I'm like, yeah, he's not gonna die. Oh no, I <laughs> because I felt like he was gonna die. It no, was because happening. they were like, oh, it's oh, it's Joe. He's like, right? when, as soon as he said, "Can I come too?" <laughs> and I was like, Joker. yeah, he's not dying. I, I like, I, that's when I like sobered up from crying, and I was like, I was like, yeah, he's not. He's staying alive. He's good. He's good. And yeah, then the whole and, the, and then I and was then, not that optimistic. But, I'm like, and then Quill, were- when he like that was, I was like, all right, but that'd be the only death that I'd be okay with 
but when Batista got shot, I was like, damn. Yeah, I, Batista, I didn't bro. think he was going to die in that part because I'm like, it's kind of early on yeah, in the movie. Yeah, it's really early in the movie. But, but here was a out. lot of fake out deaths. The, no, but there the, was. No, but yes, I was, was it was, say but that. It, it gave me Endgame vibes when Loki got choked out and killed. Oh, yeah. In the beginning, it was like that when Adam Warlock <gasps> came through. I was that's like, right. I'm like, they dang. They killed off Loki like instantly. But that's what I'm saying. I was like, dang, is Rocket <laughs> about, like, are they just killing off Rocket like that? So, yeah, I figured they weren't going to kill him off right away. I thought, like, they were, I thought he was getting be? killed right away. So speaking of Adam Warlock, him him, and his people were all made by the Holy Rollers. I thought that was interesting. Yeah, Which is he, the gold people. When he talked yeah, about from the that. the second one. The second one. Yes. When, where, where Rocket stole the batteries from. Yes, because he just wanted to fuck around. Um, but so, uh, And then she's like, you took him out too early. He took he Adam was, out. He was that still was an re- end he was credit still scene, dumb. right? When he was no. hatching... That wasn't an end credit scene. No, it was a hat. No, he, at the end credit scene, he was literally just chilling with the Guardians of the Galaxy. No, when Adam Warlock was like becoming being, alive, being born. I don't know if that was an end credit. I scene. think it was. In what movie? It Probably wasn't Guardians. Guardians. It wasn't Guardians. No. Uh, no. No. Eternals. Eternals. I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was Eternals. I remember it was that. unrelated because I remember when I watched it, I was like, Eternals end credit scene. No, Eternal no, had wait. Harry Styles. There was two. There was two. Uh, Eternal, Harry Styles. Eternals had a uh, blade. Yeah. No. Hey, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 Are yeah, you yeah, sure yeah, you're yeah, ready yeah, for that? He was yeah. talking about the guy that was yeah. looking at the sword the with that blade. And then they canceled it. Well, they, they didn't they, cancel it. They prolonged it. Yeah. They prolonged it. That's the writers. They prolonged it, which I'm glad they did because that means it probably wasn't as good as it's supposed to be. No. So this is the second. This is the second time that they pushed Blade Black. <laughs> Blade's black. Wow. Oh my god. Blade back. Wait, Blade, Blade is black. I know, right? I can't wow. believe it. Would have wow. never have known. This whole time I thought he Wesley was just a human. Snipes no. is a white man. Wesley Snipes is like this He's black, playing right? blackface. Is that what's going on? Yes. Mm. He's just, just like Tony Stark. And black nobody's talking him. about it. Just anyway. Anyway. Wow, Juan. They I pushed not, it I, I didn't back. That. Black is coffee. Go they pushed continue. it back <laughs> for um some for another reason, I forgot what it was, the but then strike. also no. So damn the writer strike blue. didn't happen a year ago. It happened right now. Me, Mom. The writer strike is the mm. second time that they pushed. We this want back. that again. So again, <laughs> what do you mean? I again? just want to see Blade. I love no, Blade. No, Juan just gets passionate about something. Wasn't things. Ryan Reynolds in a Blade movie? <laughs> hmm? What? Wasn't Ryan Reynolds in a Blade yeah, movie? Yeah, he was in Blade Trinity with yeah. Triple H. Yeah. I'm into it. Just oh, the that's right. Triple that was Triple H. 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 I haven't H. seen that since I watched it. Right he had the silver. <laughs> oh my god, I have to rewatch it now. I haven't <laughs> seen it since it's I started watching that, wrestling. To that's be not, honest, it's not that Triple good H. of a movie, song, by the way. Either I remember I know watching not. it and liking it because I like vampires and I just like anything with vampires. So sorry, I didn't do the right song. So sorry. Benoit song. Yeah, we do it for everybody. Have you seen that the Benoit like is becoming like a popular meme oh he's always yeah. oh he's, 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 he's always never been. not he's yeah. always been a popular no but meme. i feel like there's one that i see that's in my feed and the i don't TikTok. get a lot of re- yeah a, and i'm just like song. i don't think anyone really knows what this is i was like y'all have <laughs> no <laughs> idea <laughs> what <laughs> whose song it <laughs> is at all man <laughs> and what he did yeah like oh uh, <laughs> okay. yeah I love that guy that plays uh, Adam Warlock. He's in We're the Millers. He's uh, wasn't he He's, also uh, in Mr. the movie? Ma- he was in Maze, Maze Runner. Runner in the yeah. sec. Yeah, he was. He was really I can't good. Forget those eyebrows. His no. damn he unibrow. got jacked, man. He got no, he was, jacked. He was good in this movie. I Ed, loved Ed, Ed, Eddie. He's a good actor. He, he is. Yeah. He did. It was obviously the early stages of Adam Warlock because uh, his I mom was, was like, so "You took him out a little soon." That's what but I no, said. but that, but that's what I think. That's why he played that character like that. That's why he wasn't done cooking. He wasn't done. No, like let him cook. The wrong, development right? wasn't he. His development wasn't finished. Like obviously, yeah, he's a he's a super powerful dude. But look how look how he acts. Right, he's, he's a child. It's not not saying it, it's Shazam, but it's like the Shazam like vibe. Like he's a kid. He's obviously not ready. A he's doofus. mentally not ready. But I ready feel like yet. those are two a different doofus. vibes too. Well, no, yeah. But like he has that he's like yeah I'm super powerful mom what am I supposed to do wait mm-hmm. what I have to do this oh my god like it's like that kind of like, like yeah I'm the baddest dude in the room but I don't he could kill like literally everyone if he, he wanted kept to the, like, he kept the little animal he loved that little like, guy I feel like, like when him. she said give him the business and he killed he, he incinerated the guy <laughs> <I'm> bro <like, laughs> show we mean business bro the the pig the pig lady or guy whatever it was and he just <laughs> He just ripped the head right off. Yes. He was like, enough of this. And when he did that to Groot in the beginning, 
Oh yeah. Oh my, this guy has one. Group was walking around heads. with just a head, and he had yeah. little, the legs walking around. Is that like his special move? He just mm-hmm. takes the head off. Because he probably doesn't realize his own strength, and he's like, "Oh well, you're dead now." Well, he probably's like, he probably did it once. He's like, "Oh, this is cool." <laughs> this really quiets everyone down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, might as well. I did it like five other people. Might as well. Do mm. you feel like the guy? Is it Craglin? Oh wait. It is. Uh, Adam Warlock. Yeah. Uh, mid credit scene, he was in that. On in Guardians the, of the Galaxy two. Two. Yes, in the in, in the mid credit scene. <laughs> it says it right here. Appearances: Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two, mid credit. Was scene. it him? It wasn't the same actor, though, was it? it I don't. I'm, it? I can't confirm that. It just says hmm. he Adam Warlock was. I didn't know that he was in this movie. I was shocked when I saw him. I was like, "You're Adam Warlock." And he's a sovereign species, which is good. Yeah. But it says he's like a good guy. He is a good guy. Yeah. yeah. I feel like him being a part of Guardians of the Galaxy 2.0, I guess, is going to help him somewhat to learn how to fight and not be scared and shit. Well, he, he's already in deep space regardless. So I think it'll work out for him really well. Yeah. I can't wait to see him again. I hope we see him. Me I too. think I, there's I think no we, way we, we don't. Will. Yeah. I but liked him. I think we've only seen a fraction of what he could do. Once Marvel casts somebody... You're in it, baby. You're in it. Unless and, you're Jonathan and that's Majors. the early movies. Oh, that, hey, 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 hey. That's, not, that's not finalized yet. We don't what? know if it's, if it's really Unless you're Jonathan Majors. Who's that? He's the, the one that, that plays, plays King, the Kane. Conqueror. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he has a lawsuit against he, him. Uh, we were talking about that last night after the yeah. movie, how I saw a video of like all the people that could play Kane the Conqueror. I'm like, why are we recasting him? I didn't know anything yeah, about it. And then when he mentioned that yesterday. Well, no, that this stuff came out after. Yeah, they he, casted him. It was he came. It yeah, was so that's Creed, why they're recasting. It, no, it was like a video no, of like people. They haven't decided to recast yet. Yeah, they haven't. It's they, not. They he hasn't been found guilty. Yeah, no, I'm just saying like, that it was speculation. Like yeah, yeah, the no, video. No, no. There's a. People there's a lot of people that could do it, but I don't think anybody. I was thinking, if they were to recast him, excuse me. I, I feel, what? Hmm? What'd you say, Juan? I said I don't think anybody can do it as good as him. If you Get have a problem with that, I feel like if any, if 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 there's a lot of people. I feel I, and like it, I named one of them on my top ten favorite actor list. So who was it? I, James McConaughey, Jamie, Jamie Lee Fox. Fox. Oh, can play anybody. Jamie I'm Fox. Yes, Jamie Lee he Fox. can play anybody. If you look at every type of movie he's to, in, you don't think he's too old though. I was getting ready to say the guy that played uh, that, the black dude from um, Star Wars. I forget his name. Oh, uh, Finn. Finn? No. no, 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 no. He's better uh, off hiring Blasphemy. Andy Williams. No, Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> better off hiring. Um, I would love to see Jamie Foxx as uh, Kang. You would just love to see Jamie Foxx. Well, no, like, I mean... He can't be Kang. I hope he's doing all right. He's what? Electro. I hope, he's, I hope Jamie Foxx is being He's right. Electro uh, in the same universe. Chris Evans was Johnny Flame. Not in the yeah. same universe. Nope. No. They own it, and it's on Disney Plus now. But it's not, it's not in the MCU. They don't acknowledge it. They don't acknowledge it. It doesn't exist. Well, That's why Jim is now That's Mr. why Jim Fantastic. is Mr. Stretch. They can roadie it. No. Yes, Ooh. they can. If they can do that to if they can do that to roadie and just switch random characters... Who? Don, with Don Cheadle? They switch actors. Not, yeah, th- not actors, characters. whatever. What you know what I mean? About? They'd switch actors for uh, Rhodey and Iron Man. Yeah, but besides... We Nobody can... brings that up. Chopped the major stuff. I mean, that's idiot. different, though. I mean... That's different. I think they're going to do that. Different, I think that's what they're going to do. I think I'm they're going to... Talk... Look, I'm not talking about that... Like, Rhodey's character is more important than Jonathan Majors playing K. No, I didn't think that. It's just no. the concept is the same. It's not... I just... I like just, they did it for one, why can't they do it for this guy? Because those were neither one of those characters existed in anything before that. Like they did that in Game of Thrones. They just recasted someone, didn't make a big deal about it, and we were like, "Oh, okay, we're gonna pretend like he looked like this all the time." I think that's yeah. what they're gonna do. I just hope that if for his sake that he didn't do what he did for his sake, because if he really did that crap, yeah, he's done for all time back from her. He he's was done. in Creed three, and then Ant Man, and then nope, idiot. Was Not just Ant Man, he was in Loki. Yeah, that too. Which I told y'all, he's like one of. The, I told y'all in the Ant Man review, he was the best villain since Thanos. All over a moment of anger, innocent Idiot. until proven guilty. Well, it's not really like one moment. It's apparently it's been multiple. Like he, this is how he is. Oh, well, oh well, he just yeah. likes to okay. smack a woman around. So, yeah, so but like I said, only time like, will tell. I'm just saying, there's other people out there we can try. Yep, that we can try. Yeah. Yeah. And Jamie Foxx is one of them. If Disney needs help casting, I hope he's you know where right. to find us. I would hope he's doing it right. We're right no, I hope it. I hope it's not true, because I, I enjoy him on the TV. Yeah. I'm talking about Jamie Foxx. Oh yeah, I hope I'll, he's all right too. No, he had a stroke. <gasps> yeah, he's been in hospital oh like almost a month now. Oh my gosh, that's sad. Yeah. Yeah. Hope he's doing okay. Well, damn. 
And also, I feel like he doesn't get enough credit for how good he of an doesn't. actor he doesn't. He doesn't get he enough proper. Yeah, man. Does he gives us all. He gives us well, all. I mean, even I know Electro wasn't like a big role in the Spider Man movie, but just even that little yeah. bit in that movie, he did a good job as a that. villain. Like he did really good. And in then that. when he came back, I mean, Jack of all trades, master of all. Like that, yeah. Usually it's Jack of all trades, master of none. But yeah. no, he's he, 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 mastered he every it. movie, especially he's with he's underappreciated. Music, and then when he does get his chance to shine, act. it's like. Yeah, it's crazy. He delivers every time. He's, mm-hmm. he's Have the... you guys seen that movie, The Soloist? No, I haven't seen that yet. Oh, is that with Robert? Robert, 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 yeah, Robert, 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 Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. yeah, dude, it was incredible. Oh, look, look it was that. good. Incredible. Iron Man and Electro just chilling in it, yeah, hanging out, man. That's what happened. Yeah. Hanging out. But, but um, what was your guys? Uh, I would say, what was your? Hmm, what was your? Just say. What was your most emotional moment in this movie? It could be any like emotion. It doesn't have to be sad. Like, like a strong emotion Like that had. you just, in this movie, because this movie was very emotional. Where his, where Rocket's friends were like murdered in front of him. That okay, one well, himself. when you put like, it like that, we should just end the episode. <laughs> <laughs> murdered. <laughs> they murdered were, yeah. Da, 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 da. It's like, and then the fact that, like, I think what got me is like I said earlier, when he escaped and he was just alone in the, in the rocket, I'm like, damn, dude. Like, you guys could have made it, you know? They could have made it. They didn't. No, but it makes sense why he is the way he is. Yeah, because he, he didn't want that happening to him again. I wonder if it's like that in the. Come on, um, you look terribly bored. The comics. It's just my face. You just. That's his RBF. <laughs> this is just my face. I resting have board face. <laughs> this is the face his mother gave him. His it's, resting it's, board face. No, it's RSF, resting sad face. Because apparently at work everybody thinks I'm I'm gonna about to cry. So. You don't talk to anyone. You I need mean, to bro, open that up. Means, you know what that means? You just gotta, bro. Show just, them your personality. Bro, I don't have one. <laughs> Oh, hey, Jesus, well, <laughs> that that moment makes me think of uh, um, I just think of the Chris bit. Rock in uh, Longest Yard when he's like, <laughs> "What you got to? You're white. Smile, <laughs> just smile. <laughs> like he's Juan, you're Puerto Rican. Just smile. Just, just smile. Think of, <laughs> I just think smile, of, bro. I just think of Bill from King of the King, Ring, King of the Hill. He's like, I'm so depressed, I can't even blink. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, well, well. So uh, he just stared. He's like, so, so what was your so what was your emotion moment? when they got murdered? You just said was, when they got murdered. But what emotion I feel were like you it's displaying? What I mean, your emotion I was, was. Oh, I was very happy. No, sad. Well, I was very sad. Obviously. Okay. Like, I was, I was very inferior. It could have been angry. I was, you could have been like, It was you know, a mixture you know. of anger and sadness, rage and depression. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and Jones. To have such strong emotions for characters that you just really met, too. Yeah. Like, it, we we exactly, just met them. Exactly. Oh, I was hooked on them. Cause it, Instantly. It, it brought you back to, like, it, like Rocket as a kid. It, I was like, dang, like, made me think about, like, when I was young like that. And I had, like, my little cousins around with me. Like, we were, like, they were just all, like, dreaming. They were yeah. making the best out of a situation. Yeah, exactly. That scene where Rocket and um, Floor are cuddling and he wakes them up. Mm-hmm. You know when? Mm-hmm. Oh my god! I'm so sad. What? Well, what about you? What was your uh, What was your moment? Like, what was your? There was a lot that definitely got me, but the one that really like made me cry again was when they um, they get the code and they're it's him, Gamora, and Groot and Rocket on the table, and Peter is just like. Freaking out. Oh, he's like, no. Inconsolable. Yeah. I'm not letting him go. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I cried. I was like, damn. Yeah, that was so the yeah. scene in the trailer where he was like, screw. like, no. See, I didn't watch the trailer. Like, mm, yeah. I didn't want to no. watch it because I didn't want anything ruined for me. And I'm you glad I, I didn't because I would have been pissed if I had seen that. Yeah, we're going to start pump, reacting to trailers. They pump fake. They pump faked a lot. I'll tell you that. Like they did that. It's okay. A, I'll just I'll just they, react to him by they myself. Did that, Thank you. They did that in Infinity War. It was mm-hmm. to show Peter. He's like, I'm sorry. But, you know, we know what happened to Peter. After. Right, yeah. I was like, you slick motherfuckers. Like, you thought you read You can't watch trailers, man. Yeah, not if Marvel? No. Nah. No. No, nah, I'm going to start reacting to them. You can by yourself. That's a solo endeavor that we will not be participating <laughs> well, in. Well, it's going to be posted on Let's Be Real page. Oh, well, yeah, I won't watch sure. it, though. And the YouTube. Well, uh, uh, yeah. Well, if he's, he sends it to me, I'm going to have to edit it. <gasps> so you're, you're going to have to watch it. <laughs> You so see the reverse psychology? You just watched the trailer no. for like it was no. only a two minute trailer. You just watched twenty minutes. I just of it. watched it twenty times because I have to watch it back every time because <laughs> I have to make sure it works. It's all good. I'll have a keen react to it. So help us react to a trailer. What about you, Juan? What was your uh, emotional moment? When, emotional moment when he asked Otter if he can go with her Pain. because it felt like he was just done. Like he was tired. It's making me sad right now. He's done like, everything. A, this is making me sad. Yeah. Oh man, he just seems so defeated uh, and ready to go. Oh man, yeah, pain and suffering. It's not only that; wow. it's just like 
I have tears in my eyes. I think he would have been um, sad leaving his friends, but I think he just missed those friends so much that he just wanted to be with them. They were a part of his life at a very sad, very sad time. They got, they made him happy. Right. It's Um, easy to have friends when you're happy, then everyone's happy. But when you have friends when you're not happy and they're not happy, that's good. Yeah, but I'm just sad. (laughs) Yeah, it's a a completely different dynamic. Yeah. Yeah. Heavy. Yeah, this, yeah. What about you, um, man, Tyler? Um, stop it. <laughs> um, uh, <clears throat> it wasn't like a me. It wasn't like a sad moment, but this was like an I like you know this movie was emotional. It was like a, an emotional cake, right? Mm-hmm. And this little moment was like the icing on the top, like just to make me be like, oh come on. When uh she's like, Dax, you're not a destroyer. Like you're meant to be a father. Hmm. I was just, I was just like, oh my gosh, it's one tear Yo. after another. Like, can For, we just please? It was have, an emotional I, I roller coaster. Sat to, I sat next to him in the theaters. It like, was a he real legit tear. Was like just. Oh, I can see him out of my periphery. He was legit, like moving around. Like he was. Like, that spoke to you on a father level. It did, level. it did because, like you know, it's just like father. I don't know. Like I just feel like Paul. you know, since I thought of Silas, you know, he's thought of my son Silas, and just you know when you. It's like when you become a dad, I think, honestly, outside of becoming like a husband or a wife, I just feel like that's like, it's just everything's different. You become a parent and then it's just like, you're not this, you're supposed to be, you're meant to be this. And I don't know. I just, I felt that because he lost everything. And when I saw Drax like playing with the kids in the movie, he's like doing the chop to the dude. And when he was a start, monkey, they, st- <laughs> <laughs> they start, they start, they started doing the things in the cage and he's yeah. speaking their language, which right. was interesting. Like that he knew that language. Uh, it maybe Batista wasn't, or Drax. he's not, as, he's as not stupid as, as, as yeah, they he's think actually really smart. He is apparently because the driving force of his personality was the pain and suffering he had from which watching his really wife dry and child humor. die. You don't really think that he's smart. Because he's thinks, very literal. Everybody, yeah. yeah, everybody thinks he's stupid. Like even Gamora and Mantis, Mantis. have an argument about who's the dumbest, and they keep coming back to Drax. Mm-hmm. That he he's is. Like, you think I'm dumb? Yeah. And then Nebula's like this fucking idiot. <laughs> but yeah, that uh, you meant to be a dad one was really sad. No, but there's another one too. Like you can have more than one. When they uh, when they're all in the room, he's like, "You'd be a better leader than I was," and then he went, "Captain." To rocket, oh, and you remember in the beginning they would like, like this is my ship. No, I'm the captain. Mm-hmm. And he finally is like, captain, and everybody in the room did that. I was like, damn, bro, like what a send off right there. That mm-hmm. moment, yeah. Groot the rocket just gets popped. Right. Wait, so Groot stayed, Drax stayed, Drax stayed, Nebula, Nebula stayed, right, and Rocket Kraglin. went with Warlock, Kraglin, mm-hmm. and Groot. Um, and Groot, yeah, he did go with Groot. And then he went with, uh, well, who was that? That was a little, the, one of the little girls. Okay. And then Adam Warlock. Yeah, it was them. And I thought, I was like, okay. What a weird group. I would but love to see that. It's a weird group, but it's just like, it works almost. Oh, yeah. And, and it, and was it, the little puppy there too? The yeah. dog was there. Yeah. I was expecting that dog Wait, to was like. Wait, was it the, it was, I, I've been seeing that dog, dog, like, you know that poster? It has all the Avengers on it. Like every like has all the villains and right. then the good guys and you're just like what the heck is the dog doing in the in the spacesuit? I keep thinking and it was gonna be dog. like a big beast, like it was gonna transform into something, and then when it never did, I was like, oh, it's just cute. Oh, it's like just, the, no, it has telekinetic powers. Like yeah, but like she, you're talking about transforming into a beast, like the cat in uh, um, um, Captain, Captain Marvel. Marvel. Yeah, right. He's like that. Hey, that's not a cat. Right. <laughs> that, that's, that's what I was expecting cat. to happen, but that never happened. Oh my that's god. That's the dog that the Soviet Union sent into space oh, in real know. life. Yeah. Cosmo. So, you really yeah. think I'm a bad dog? I loved Cosmo. I love that part. She's You're a so bad cute. dog. Because <laughs> she was in the first one too, but she didn't have a part at all. She makes appearance in, at any time they're in space, especially um, Howard the Duck. I love that they're all I love that Howard the Duck was there. What does he even do? He's a duck. He's just chilling. He talks like a human. I don't think he has Howard, a superpower. He, no, he, yeah, he, he had a movie. A Howard really bad Duck, movie. Really bad. Really bad. Really bad. If we want to talk about bad movies. Like bad or like that He also has. Ass. It <laughs> makes Shazam look like a cinematic masterpiece. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He, um. God damn. He, he also had, um, a string of like comics. 
You yes, know, here and there. So that's why he's in the movie, and also he's he's also from space. I like the nod, you know. I like that yeah. he's there, but um, he's just chilling in his damn tuxedo yeah. playing cards. I'm just like, what does he even do? What does he even do? Nothing. He just hangs out. He's just he's there for the vibes. <laughs> I think his planet is here for the vibes, something. man. That's all. I like um, that nowhere is a spaceship. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, that was, that was cool. cool. That was An cool. old celestial head. I got the goosebumps when Craglin was in like the cockpit and they're doing all that shit and they're like magnifying the cannon. Oh yeah, I liked that. It was yeah. Like Power Rangers. Yep. Love um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Grandma. That dog was that dog was funny. Cosmo. Uh, especially when they were playing poker and there she was telling her story. The Soviets send me into space. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> and they're like, just say it, take it back. Oh yeah. <laughs> They never said I was a bad dog. <laughs> Even the Soviets never. <laughs> I feel like that's me when I've been across. Like, you just keep bringing. It I'm up. just gonna keep bringing it up. <sighs> I did like when Peter Quill mentioned his best friend was Rocket, mm-hmm. and then Drax is like second best friend. Second best friend. <laughs> that's like you and literally. Me. Dude's yeah, literally well, that's how dying. You get. That's... Yeah, and when Juan talks about his best friend yeah. and his second best friend, dude's literally like dying on the table. He's like second best friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, best friend. Well, I'm not gonna lie though. It did help that moment. It's kind of like cut the tension. Yeah, it did. It, it did cut that tension. Which I'm was not gonna good. let my best friend die. Second best friend. <laughs> <laughs> when he's like over off in the corner, he's gotta like a pipe up up about that. <sighs> that's all I got to say, really. I feel like I just call Batista just Batista every single every single movie I see him is just Batista. I kind of but I don't want to see him as another character. I mean, I anything. Just, just, he's not going to be another character. I, I don't think him, so. I no, in as, anything. I don't want to even see him in another oh. role. Like I think he just fits that role perfectly. I just see him as Batista. Man. It was weird <laughs> seeing him in in Knock of the Cabin, mm-hmm. especially with all of his tattoos, and he was as big as he needed to be for Drax, because you can see he's put on not. I don't know if I want to call it weight. He's got that bodybuilder physique where he still has, like, the muscle, but they still look like... He's not so cut. Yeah, he's not mm. cut, but they still look like they're overweight, but they're not. They can, like, throw you through a wall with their pinky. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. So he had that look and knock at the cabin. It was kind of weird. It, His shirt was way too tight, I think. In the show, He'll yeah. He'll probably be in the next Fast and the Furious. Oh, yeah, but Batista versus John Cena. <laughs> I hope they don't do. I, I hope they don't do twenty of those movies. Man. Batista versus The Rock. They said they Universal said much. that they were going to stop at ten, and then Akeem told me last night that they were going to keep going. So. It was going to be okay. So they're going to do what? On? Ten more? No, 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 no. Okay, so Fast Fun. X. It, they're going to do this. The last one. It's two parts. Nice. So this one is part one. So again, like a Deathly Hallows part one and two. It's but it doesn't two. even say like part one on anywhere. Yeah, it's, it's going to be on a, the marketing. Just yeah, let it go, it's, man. It's going to be let, a, it, let it die. It, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's almost done. Almost done. Because like, when almost I'm looking done. at the trailer, like, I don't want to be Every, ageist, Looking at the poster, Vin everybody's Diesel's in old. it. It's like they turn them into superheroes. I hated it. Like, I hated Fast Night. It sucked. Who's not in this movie that's not a big like, actor? There's no reason why Paul freaking Walker? Vin Diesel or who was it? Well, Vin he Diesel. has no choice. Like, Vin Diesel, like, <laughs> he's ju- dead. <laughs> Vin Diesel jumped out of, like, a car and he, like, grabbed Letty with no damage and laid on that car. Well, he's he's honestly it's a superhero movie. Yeah, yeah, it is point, yeah. at this point, yeah. Well, like when the rock grabbed the freaking helicopter in like the the spin-off, I'm just like, "Come on, Bro, dude." Oh, he's Black Adam. I don't know <laughs> what the damn what he is. Yeah, it, it just made no sense to me. It's the him on a strength. The thing- he stopped a helicopter a, a, a with helic- his bare hands. Yeah, he legit grabbed it. He's like, mm, like you know, he pulled to stop it. it. Yeah, he pulled it. I'm just like, okay, okay. Before they okay. Rock. Captain America did that just to put that in perspective. Yeah, but well, Captain America Captain has yeah. super soldier serum. <laughs> we know why he did it. That's or, America's There's also ass. another scene where uh, there's all this, not another scene I think in Fast yes, Eight is. or something. He like grabbed a grown ass man mm-hmm. while he was driving a car and then threw him into the wall while he was still driving. Yes, it's the Rock doing this. I'm like. Oh, it's Black what Adam. Is this? Right. And the yeah, Scorpion I mean, King. King. And the guy got like just a broken leg. And the Scorpion King. Yeah, I'm like, he got a little scratch on the top of his cheek. There and John go. Cena, they're like committing terrorist acts and they just... Yeah. I saw John Cena stop a boulder in a clip from a Scooby-Doo movie. So <laughs> let's talk about how realistic that is. <laughs> <laughs> and now we got spaceships. You got two niggas going to space now too. Like, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> We got him back to back. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> End it. End it now. Very passionate. Fuck. 
<laughs> man, I'm sorry, man. That shit just irks my nerves, man. What, what are you making those faces for? <laughs> what faces? Nothing. Man. This is my face. <laughs> what, are y'all uncomfortable? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally comfortable. I'm 100% comfortable. I'm the most comfortable thing you've ever seen. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, just, <laughs> okay. Is that right? Just so, so. <laughs> Wait, you never got uh, those annoyed are... at a movie or something like that that just makes you like really annoyed. Nothing, no, that yes. never happened to you. Yes, yeah. Has that ever happened to you? Yeah. I don't ever drop the n bomb. Oh, you know. Okay. Well, uh, have you ever like seen a movie that was so bad you're just like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Jaws, okay. yeah. Jaws four. That's how I feel about Jaws four. Why do you hate Jaws four? That's how I feel about. Have you seen it? It apparently the shark only like did only liked white meat. Wh- one to five, and it was it's, personal. That would be a first He followed them movie. from New York to the Bahamas. That's my kind of man right He flew Jersey. a plane, didn't he? Oh, no. He roared out of the... Just like the bear that's going to He jumped out of the water and roared, and then got stabbed by a boat. <laughs> that's like the bear that's coming for you. <laughs> yeah, the bear's going to attack you. Juan texts me. But, but, but go ahead and finish that... Uh, Your thought. What? One to seven is is like the... the what It should have ended up because, you know, Paul Walker getting killed. That's where it should have ended. Fast 8 was Dom turning heel. I thought it should have ended at... Uh, it was literally tur- it turned into a bad guy. I'm like, dude. What? I thought it should have ended at Fast Five. Yeah, Fast... That, that was the last that time. That would have been a perfect send-off. That was the last time. They went into hiding. That and was, if they wanted to make one last one, that, like later, like five years later, that would have been fine. That was the last time they felt like actual human beings. Instead of just The Rock press slamming like 250-pound <laughs> man into the damn roof and then breaking him through walls. Mm-hmm. I did it for the rock. Like this man legit grabs somebody by the leg from the floor, and he just tosses him like a damn chicken wing. Who's tossing chicken wings? The rock. Why didn't you have him on your episode with when you're talking about the Fast and the Furious? Because uh, I don't think he was available. Oh. Uh, man. I, I, they did just... a whole episode on this. Oh, well, we, we did two episodes. episodes. Yeah. We did a top <laughs> ten list. We did two episodes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Two fast episodes. Well, you, you remember Juan said the only good one was the first one? That wasn't even in the Fast Furious movie. I like Tokyo Drift. Yeah, but you it. remember that? It was the only good one, he said. I wouldn't say the only good no, one. Oh. Hey, you were on li- we went live on that one. You're like, it's the only good one. Okay, so the only good ones. Okay, <laughs> this, no, we're gonna take, this, Here we okay, go. We, we're we not even done with the Guardians can, review. We're just moving right into Fast and Furious. No, we haven't done the okay, yeah. I have to go ahead. And, I have to go ahead and say this, bro. Okay, so I Fast and Furious. Can you wait for like? Can you wait for like thirty seconds? Yeah. Can you just wait for like thirty seconds? Let's wait like thirty seconds. Okay. So, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Amazing. Loved it. Rating. Loved what it. is your star rating, one? Starting with you, five uh, stars. Five stars. Ten. Oh, five stars. I'm an. I, if I could give it six, I would. I like I said, greatest Marvel movie. Okay. Five out of five. <laughs> five out of five. Yep. All right. Not every Marvel movie gets five stars. Yeah, Certainly no, not no, lately. No, 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 Certainly no, 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 not lately. No, 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 no definitely not. not. Nope. When been... was the last time we had a five out of five? Shit. For Marvel. For Marvel. Marvel. Endgame. To no. me, it was good. To no. me, it was good. Endgame, Shang-Chi, I think... Shang-Chi, five out of five. Shang-Chi was amazing. Shang-Chi. Spider-Man, five no, out of no, five. Like, yeah, true, true, true. I thought you were agreeing that Shang-Chi um, was hot. Like, oh. Far from hot. <laughs> She's like, we're, oh, wait, oh, oh. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> okay, all right, okay, all right. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, that's all. All right, so that was our review on Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Yeah, yeah so uh, finish your thoughts on uh, Fast and the Furious. All right, so yeah, the, the Fast and the Furious 1 your is a classic. Is anger it's, the Fast and the Furious 1 is a classic, 100%, okay? Right. That that's that can't be just, just disputed at all, okay? Actually, too Fast, Too Furious. The first five good. were great. Too Fast, Too Furious was good. Uh, what was the other one? Tokyo, Tokyo Drift? Drift was pretty good. I like that one. Fast and the Furious? Didn't really. That's what I was like iffy about. That one's fast. Caca. Fa- no, y'all, are, y'all are true. Fast and Furious. The one y'all where they go to Mexico through the tunnel. Yeah, that one. The one where um. Where, that uh, was actually a really good one. I didn't like okay. Fast and Furious. I didn't really like that. Needed to happen. Fast Five, incredible. Fast Six, pretty good. Fast Seven, really sad because you know Paul Walker. Fast Eight. <laughs> no, Paul Walker didn't die in the movie. He no, died. In, it's like it was. In, he, you know, he couldn't finish it because you know he passed. Yeah, I, I stopped watching it after the seventh one. <laughs> good choice. For, uh, first eight. Uh, eight. Eight. They're running out of ideas. Fast nine, literal shithole. I hate it. It's literally like a Marvel movie. They should, it, just, it, it, they should just put them in the MCU. Bro, you got The Rock. It, why is The Rock press? Bro, we get it. He pre- he, he bench pressed a helicopter and threw no. it into Godzilla's mouth yeah. at, while it was on yeah. fire. That's, bro, that's a, what, what are they, what, what they going to do next? 
they're gonna go to. Did, what, they, did they go to space already? Yeah. Oh, they're they, gonna they, go to. They're gonna go they're to. They're going hell. to space. Are you being oh, serious? No, they <laughs> went to space already. They gonna, went to space already. They're, they're, yes, they're gonna they go. Are you joshing me? They're gonna go to the. They're gonna go to the Arctic. two movies Tyrese and Ludacris went into space in a car that Ludacris made. They're gonna go to the Arctic wall to stop the cipher or whatever. No, Ludacris didn't make it. Who it made? was it he's was uh, Country Boy and and he's uh, dead? I thought that's what he meant. Yeah, oh yeah, they brought back Han too. Yeah, Han's well, they keep they keep Han killing and like bringing back Han Herbert. every movie. What? He's Han, back? Han died like uh, three thousand times. Only, he only died once. I don't, it feels like more. He died <laughs> once, <laughs> guys. Once, that's once not would be enough. Someone he died, died once. He like didn't. Paul Walker okay. died once. So let's just clarify that you saying oh, he oh, dies oh, and comes back every other movie doesn't happen. Did you hear He only died once. Did you hear? Apparently, he blew up in a car. Did you hear? Do we need another episode? I feel like you guys should be left alone for a third episode. Did you hear? Apparently, that they're gonna bring back Brian O'Connor. Brian O'Connor. Yeah, I don't, yes. li- I don't like that. They're bringing back Brian O'Connor. Yes, Paul. Yes. My thing is they should have just made his brother. His I hope brother's these are practical him. effects. Yeah, they, they his literally... brother should have just been like another character. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. just be like, hey, man. you Brian Brandon O'Connor. I'm his, I'm his younger brother. All right, here we go. This is what we're doing now. Juan, you look very, very Do you want to hear this or that? Bored. We haven't yes, gotten there please. Yesterday. That's crazy. subject. <laughs> I have five this or that's. Um, and I'm on? only going to do five. That's because crazy. Someone... We didn't have any last week. My yes. Fault, my fault. Yeah, I had to go on that rant. My fault, man. That's okay. You said you said what was in here? No, it's out here. Yeah, yeah. Well, no. Juan still only thinks the number one Fast and Furious is the first I have one. no horse in this race, so yeah, I don't really participate opinion. in this. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm sticking with it. He can, I'm have, not... he can have that. Hey, good. Good. I'm not Honestly. allowed to have opinions. It's a... but I'm <laughs> stop that taking it so personal, bro. Come on. I'm the only one that gets that gets yelled at for having What? I get crazy. death threats on our lives. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm talking about the two death of you. What the fuck you up Somebody, Yeah, Craig threatened to kill me. Craig threatened yeah. because of a top 10. It I would had. be Craig. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, but, Mark Hamill's see, the best joker. See, look, man, like, man, you gotta, look, man, you're on a podcast, bro. There's going to be jokes. There's going to be things. The homebody incident there, of 23. The homebody was, <laughs> let's be real. That was hurtful. <laughs> that Why was, was really Craig I'm talking about. I'm talking about the two of you guys. What happened? Me? Bro, no, you, not you. You're not a part. You're not. A, you, no. Oh. Bro, so me and Savannah can't joke with you about oh, you, you having I just like, feel an like we tease each other all the time. Yeah, I just feel like this is a little different. <laughs> the dog days are not over. Oh, they're definitely over. <laughs> maybe it'd be different. <laughs> maybe it'd be different if you actually talk to us and not through the camera. <laughs> no, <laughs> so like, like, if I like how like, I am. So you, we're see, all beneath him. <laughs> he likes to. He likes to be. I'm above you guys. You guys no. are my peasants. <laughs> Lick my finger, dog. Get you the guys... grease off my fingers. No. I'm not going to say that. I'm no. not agreeing to that. <laughs> I am not agreeing to that. No. Mm, well, that seems you like... Your face said so. My face so. said nothing. I have five this or that. I'm not doing should ten. should have ten. I'm not doing ten. It's okay. I'll come up with one. No, what it's okay. Do? Don't do that. I'm going to do it. Number one is, Sorry. would you rather have... I hope have... they're controversial. I mean... I... This or that. Yep. Better this. A mullet... For a year, mm. or mm. you're bald for six months and you can't wear a wig. You're bald for it. It's like, you know, no way around it. Nothing up top. Bald. Forever? You ra- no. For, would oh, you for rather have a mullet for a year or bald for, or six, bald months. for six months? No wig. Like, you're bald. I, I kind of can't grow a mullet. Well, in this scenario, you it, can. It, it, you can't think about. We don't. We don't hyperanalyze the question. <laughs> okay. You just don't take it, it as it is. Yeah. Would you rather have a mullet for a year or be bald for six months? Yeah, mullet. mullet. I'm going mullet. Yeah. I'd rather be bald. That's interesting. Why what? would you? Why would you? I, may, I cut my hair as close as possible to bald anyway. No, Todd, you don't. Todd is my barber. You don't. You wouldn't want a mullet. You don't want to see this in a there's mullet. Other, I'd like to there's see it other. In a there's other. <laughs> I would like for It's not going to look like Eddie Guerrero's. I can tell you that. We can go really short if you want no to. No one can grow an Eddie Guerrero. I feel like Dominic tries. It's not. It's not it. <laughs> Dominic <laughs> looks like the people I grew up with. <laughs> From <a> Spanish? <laughs> yeah. No, I would do the mullet over the Mullet, beard, yeah. Over 100%. Bald, I'm not going to be bald. No one I tried talking. That. I tried letting Erica, you know, let me grow a mullet. I can, uh-huh. I can always I put wanted to, on. but she didn't want me to. She was like, no, that's great. I'm like, why not? It might mullet. be a look. Might be a look. I would bring it back. It's very popular right now. I love mullets. Yep. Would you rather only watch movies ever or only watch TV shows? Mm. Yeah. It's hard because t- I feel like TV shows are more quotable. There's more variety in TV shows too. And it's more of a long-winded storytelling. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Um. Forever. Forever. So that means I can't watch no Marvel or DC, nothing. I mean, if it's a show, I you can. Got, that 
Come there's on. a difference. But that's I know. very rare. I like know. we have a couple shows, but I mean, um, it's the good and the bad. That's what makes it dicey. I'm gonna go with movies. Same. Because I don't know, man. No more Jamie Foxx show. Because if if I Williams had if, brothers, so Fresh like Prince I'm assuming I'm assuming that you can't <laughs> that you can't like dip out of a show. No more Breaking right? Bad. Yeah, show. What bad. do you mean? Like if a show gets bad, all right, Stranger and Things. One season, you're gonna stop. And then move on to the next show. If a movie assuming, gets bad, you're just going to stop watching it. Yeah, no, no. I'm assuming in this scenario. Uh, but forever, in this scenario, like forever. you can't watch a movie. It's, it's like, forever. The only no, thing you're so watching it's is like, TV shows. Okay, so it's like how The Walking Dead got really bad after season seven. And they still went to season 11. Like you would have to finish all no. seasons. You can't leave. No. And then move on to the next show. No. You can just watch a different show. Yeah, oh. I think she's okay. just saying, would you rather watch... TV shows forever or movies forever? Right. That's the only form of content you're consuming. That's, this is actually a hard question because that's like, yeah. that means it's like, wait, no, no Jango and Chain movies. Yeah. No SpongeBob. Fuck. No, um, no Ed and Eddie. Stranger Things. No Ed and Eddie. Uh, I take Eddie. It back TV shows. No, uh, no Stranger Things. No Billy and Mandy. No, like, TV yeah, shows. that means like nothing on Netflix. TV shows. Because I mean, unless you're watching movies on Netflix, but. TV shows. Like, no Outlander. Nobody wants to watch Avalanche Sharks. TV shows, one percent. I would do movies. Hey, that I'm not movie is up great. Eddie, one. Eddie, Eddie. It's a tough decision. Though. It goes through the hot tub. Like yeah. that means no WWE. That is a TV show. I mean, yeah, but the pay per view. Woo! No sports. Damn, that sucks for me. I, 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 I can't do it. I, I don't know. I wouldn't think of sports without falling. That's definitely either. TV show. I wouldn't consider that either of those categories. No, though. Pay-per-views. Airs on TV. Sports are sports. Because sports are sports. They're well, not they TV sp- shows. Well, they have sports shows, though, on TV. Yeah, too. but when you're like going to watch a football game, you're like, I'm not tuning into my favorite show, the, the Jets versus the Dolphins. I mean, you're not going to sit there and say, I'm watching a movie, and it's the Dolphins versus the Yeah, because the Jets, it doesn't right? fall under either of those categories. Okay, yes, it's I its mean, own thing. Sports and entertainment. TV shows, 100%. Yeah, but it's not a, it's not a short or a movie. So WWE is not under that either. It airs sport. on TV, but that's what I'm saying. Like so it airs on TV. So what could what what defines a TV show? I don't think it's a sport. Anything that falls under a sport category, I wouldn't. I didn't even think of okay, either okay. of those things. So TV show, 100. percent Mostly okay. I'm gonna change my answer to TV shows. I'm doing movies. I'm sticking to my guns. Because man, like this is. Re- I know I'm like the last one, but this is hard. Like because that means no Harry Potter. If you pick TV shows, no. although now. But I'm just saying, though, like, I mean, I can't watch Friends. And no one's really missing out by not watching Friends. <laughs> we were on a break. <laughs> Pivot. And then I love the little hand gestures Ross would do to shut Chandler up when he, he's like. No Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. No House of Dragons. I never watched them. Well, you're missing out. I am? Yeah. There's a lot of sex in those. I don't really. Your wife will love it. I just don't. No it fits her criteria. Bag. No Breaking Bad. For a good show. Bag. No Stranger Things. Better Call Saul. Like. But then you can watch no heels. Um, no Loki. No heels. No yeah. heels. Yeah. Then you can watch the third season of Mandalorian. No WandaVision. <laughs> Damn. No SpongeBob. That's no Ed Ed Nettie. So you picked. You're watching TV shows. Yeah, you're watching TV shows. Yeah. There's got to be one. Mm. I gotta go movies too. Yeah. No Batman. When I think of things that have like had an impact on me, they're mostly movies. Oh, they got they got some anim- animated movies. True. Yeah. Like yeah. the the killing joke. That was heavy. That was a great one. That was good. Are we ready for the next one? Yes. That was controversial. Damn. Batman versus Robin's actually really good. Too. It was good. Yes, too, it yeah. is. I feel like all the Batman animated, the animated movies are oh good. Oh my gosh! Whenever they talk about well, the the DC Court of animated. Owls, I'm 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 waiting for them to do a live action with the Court of Owls. I don't think it would be as good though. Think, DC anything? So? That's like them doing a Miles Morales live action. Y- yeah. That. Yeah. I'm glad they. I'm glad they left but Miles like, Morales. As the a Court of Owls are. They're just a group of assassins. Yeah. So I mean, they can do it. They just got to do it right, and you got to get the right people behind it. You got to have people who not have DC associated with it. <laughs> it's got to be just like how the Batman was with, with Robert Pattinson. Christopher Nolan. Mm-hmm. It was just a standalone thing. They weren't trying to do like part of the DCU. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So. Would you rather be an extra in an Oscar-winning movie or the lead in a box office failure? An extra. In an Oscar-winning movie or the lead in a box office failure. And as an extra, do I have speaking lines? You're an extra. Do I have speaking lines? No, you don't. An extra is literally somebody in the background. No, there's extras that speak. I never thought of it. And you get paid. 
And you are. I think that's overcomplicating it. Is the movie good? You just think of because you didn't win an Oscar. I mean, speaking extra. No, the movie won an Oscar. You didn't win an Oscar. No, but the thing is, when you say extra, I think of background people. When you say side, like a person that's like an extension of the no, 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 the main character. That's not an extra. No, no, no. I'm not saying side character. So you're talking like a one liner. I'm talking about oh, you bump into the main character. Oh, excuse me, that's an extra. Dude got paid because you got you spoke. Is I mean, even the, if they're walking around in the background, one-liner. they still get paid. That's not a side character. It's the an box extra. office yeah, failure. Yeah, it's an extra. It's the box office failure yeah, of the movie. Is it good? It's a box office failure. It's a box office so failure. So it sucks. That's the information you're getting. Uh, I mean, there's movies that haven't I'd made a lot of an, money I'd rather at the be box an extra. office. I mean, oh, yeah, I'd rather be an extra and that won an Oscar. Sure, yeah. For sure. Extra. I'd rather be a lead in a box office failure. Why wouldn't that mean like? Because sometimes there are extenuating circumstances that fuck with the box office. That's true. Like it could be opening on a bad weekend, or they could be opening on a another movie that was gonna do better, even though the movie you were in wasn't good. Or like mm. the movie we were talking about last night, how that marketed I want, poorly that I want to see that has it comes out this weekend has no marketing whatsoever with Ben Affleck unless you go to a movie theater. Right, like no one's gonna see that. And I think that's going to affect it. So, like, I haven't seen any mark. Like, I know I avoid trailers, but TikTok plays trailers as ads. I'd never heard of it before, and I so, love Ben Affleck. And I only, the only reason I know of the movie is because I went to the movie theater and they played the trailer. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you know, that's the only reason I know about it. And I want to watch it. It's actually really, it actually looks really good. Right. So. Okay, now I think about it. Think box office failure. <laughs> The shot. What was your verdict, Juan? Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I I would rather. That's a I tough would, one too. That's a tough one too. Yeah, because I think I'm gonna go with box office failure because I have you, to go with that one. As you well. can be you can be the best person that acted in it, and if, if the right people watch it, you're gonna that's get all you'll get another gonna, chance. I mean, you're gonna look, get recast. Jared Leto got multiple chances. <laughs> And he's not good. He's not. But he's, he got. I don't multiple, know why he keeps getting movies. That's what I'm saying, though. He got multiple chances. Morbius yeah. was just horrible. Terrible. They're, they're working on a Morbius too. Yeah. With him. With him and uh, Michael Keaton because of Vulture. No. Oh. Hopefully that makes it better. <laughs> this one I feel like was really upsetting to me. Oh, wow. Never eat watermelon again, Ooh. or you have to eat watermelon with every meal. Never mm. eat watermelon again. <laughs> I don't know watermelon's good though. I love yeah. watermelon, but every meal. But that That's one time though, for like you a can beach make each day or you like can a make snack. it work. Hmm? You can make it work. Watermelon for every meal. It doesn't have to be just like a cup of watermelon. You can make it work. At the I'm gonna yeah. do never eat watermelon again. Because I can't eat it for every meal. I can't. You. It, I think it's re- like for, as like just a human being. It's to eat something consistent every every meal. day every meal. You're eventually going to break it. Doing every day is drinking water. You're eventually going to break it yeah. and not do it again. Yeah. Unless you're Spanish. I think it'll drive you to insanity. Because we just eat rice with everything. Yeah. That's different, though. Not e- not not even all the time, either. Like, I get tired of it, too. I love nope. rice. It's like, can I, I do get... something with rice? See, something rice is the only rice? thing I can eat with every meal. Because it goes with... It, everything. Rice goes with everything. It not does. watermelon. Watermelon is a nut. Watermelon and rice. Yeah, I would never eat Chops watermelon, watermelon again. And, but I do and love add watermelon. Rice on top of it. I guess it, it depends on what type of rice, oh and if there's soul food involved. Watermelon don't taste good with everything either. And no. it's not always Absolutely in season. Not. Exactly. I feel like watermelon's only good in the summertime. You shouldn't be eating that. As season. And with fried chicken and barbecue beans. Yes. And a smoothie's pretty good too. Or in. Or a mojito, watermelon mm. mojito, or a mm. margarita. Mm. Never eat watermelon again, 100%. Same here. What's your final verdict? Juan? Never Since eat watermelon can. again. Never mm. eat watermelon Because like, I only eat it in the summertime, so it's like the rest yeah. of the year. It's like I don't miss it. No. It's just when I walk past the produce department, they're slicing it in the summertime when they're BOGO. And it's like, oh, yeah. It's time. It's time to get it. Yep. And then my last one is, would you rather... Hey, lay- this is four already? Yeah. My last you one is... You went through all th- yeah. five already? That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Would wow. you rather labor in the hot sun... Or the cold winter. Mm. I've worked like in the you're hot working summer. outside, and it's either really hot or really cold. I'd rather labor in the hot sun. Hot sun, because I've legit done that. So mm. yeah, hot sun, one percent. Because you could wear, you could wear like a hat, long water. sleeve to protect your. You're sweating either way. No, yeah. I know, but you yeah. could wear like a like you could wear like a type of long sleeve, like a sun like guard, a compression 
type mm-hmm. of like sleeves under your arm. Mm-hmm. You stand like under the shade shirt. too. So that way you can you can wear hats to protect your skin. When you're cold and you're working, misery. misery. Your toes can get frozen. Like you can just, and it depends on what you're doing too. And like, you would think that you're not sweating because it's cold, but you're wearing all those layers. And you so- have a high chance of going from the cold into a warm house. Your body can go into shock, and you can actually get sick really mm-hmm. bad. That's very true. I'm sure, it's how you can get COVID. Anyways. Mm-hmm. So your verdict is hot. Oh yeah, all day. Hot. Yeah, I'd rather work hot, outside. Yeah. Hot sun. As hot much sun. As, I, as much as I hate sweating, I'm gonna have to go with working in the hot sun. Yeah. Because the cold, I, I don't. Just misery. I don't want to like lose my fingers or lose oh, my nose no, or lose a piece of my is. cheek or my you know my toes. And I feel like you're not burdened down with equipment that you're wearing to protect yourself when it's hot. Like a lot of the things you can wear are light, whereas like yeah, the bundling up process, oh, kill me. And, like, everything's covered, like, your face, your mouth. And it depends on what you're doing, too, right. like Tyler said. You know what I mean? Like, if it's cold, if you're working outside in the cold because it's a blizzard, like, you can lose your face. You yeah. can lose pieces of your face to... to you have, have to wear goggles. To or, frostbite. Yeah. 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 yeah no, I thank remember. you. Or your ears. But even, like, I worked at Sam's Club for a while. Like, even working, like, in the freezer. Like, Misery. putting stuff, going from the freezer and then to the heat. Mm-hmm. No, just, like... It sucks. Like you, you have to bundle up. Like you're going in. You're it's below thirty degrees in there. Yeah. So you have to like bundle up like you're in the snow. There are times I had to work in the freezer, working overnight at a uh, BJ's. Yeah, it's it's. It sucks so I'm much. Not, it sucks so much. I'd rather be in the sun for sure. Even when I have to go in the freezer for like five minutes at work, it's just fuck like, this shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is it really worth it? That's I all I got. This, this is the five I have. Do you have a movie of the week? Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy three. No yeah, way. Everybody needs to watch it. Watch it. It's I early, like the Renfield early. a lot. I'm assuming if you guys <laughs> this part that you have watched it already, unless, you know. Well, unless you just really like us, I which like I'd be really surprised. I would be very surprised. Are you still naming movie of the week or no? Yeah, he just, he just named it. Oh, oh Guardians shit. of Guardians. the Galaxy. Oh. Did you have one? Uh, I liked Renfield a lot. Oh, okay. oh yeah. If it's you... interesting. We all have a movie of the week now. Well, that's pretty cool. I don't yeah. know what we were doing. We Is can that... do two. A Renfield? What was it? Renfield. Renfield, what's that? It's about, oh, go ahead. Nicolas Cage. Uh, he's a vampire. Oh, you watched it? Yeah. Hey, was oh, that, it that's the new one, right? Yeah. yeah. What With, would you uh, give the Nicholas rating Holt? on it? Probably four out of yeah, five. Yeah, from the menu? Okay. Probably four out of five. I heard it was like, I heard it was really good. It's one of those movies where it's like the perfect combination of action, comedy, and drama. It's definitely it a movie so I will watch. Odd, definitely. It's, looks it's, like it's, it's a hilarious. movie I'll watch really a review funny. for it before I watch it. Yeah, it's funny. Yes. I don't think I'll go to the theater to watch that. Yeah, I didn't Not watch it. I watched it on a... Illegally. Yeah. <laughs> he's one of my fa- he's one of my favorite actors. I Nicolas like Nicolas Cage. Cage yeah. yeah, he was really good in Face Off. There's also this one movie I seen with him. Con Air. One movie I seen. Con Air. No, it's uh, it called Willy's Wonderland. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That that movie had no business being as good as it was. Hmm. It's legit. Like you remember Five Nights at Freddy's? No. Oh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay, it's about um this guy who he's just a mute. He doesn't talk. Oh. And he like gets trapped inside like this this uh. This Chuck E. Cheese like, like, didn't they made like a game out of that? F- Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, they have like that. a game about it. It's like but Five Nights at Freddy's, and it's like it's a scary not. thing, um, and you have to escape. Was, the game was first. He's okay, not. I remember that the game. game was first. He's not trapped in there with them. They're trapped in there with him. That's frightening. And he, mm. he kills all of them. Dude, it's fucking. It's so good. It's it's it. You it's like on murder. Hulu. It's all Hulu right now. You mm. like when murder happens. Uh, no, <laughs> you like you, you like you you like you got murder on your mind. No, not Y and W Melly. <laughs> I'm not Y and W Melly. No, Mama, no, 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 no. Nope. But uh, yeah, it, it's it it's a lot better than what you would expect. Like you watch the trailer, you're like mm, okay, whatever. But no, it's Nicolas okay. Cage being a vampire. He's not talking throughout the entire movie. Like mm-hmm. he's just he's all action. He's like a robot. It's so weird. <laughs> like, he <laughs> drinks like soda. Or, like he talks food. in the trailer. No, he doesn't. I thought he did. I mm-hmm. thought he did. He, there, he's talking about he's talking about that that movie where they're Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, Wendy, uh, Willie's Wonderland. That's what you see. Going. You see what just happened. I there? did. I, okay. I was with you. Savannah, Savannah brought up Renfield, and then Tyler started talking about Renfield again, and Akeem was still talking about yeah. the other movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just like, I'm glad you knew where we're all. <laughs> yeah, I was well, he's a producer. <laughs> yeah, he's supposed to know. Yeah, okay, a, that's good. I'll have to check that out. I yeah. I was I love vampire stuff. Yeah, so you're right, you'll, you'll like it. <laughs> Hopefully. 
Well, thanks for coming on the show. We yeah, loved bro. having you. you. Really appreciated you. Yeah, coming man. On. Thank you for having me. Finally. Yeah. Finally. finally yeah. yeah, man. For Jeez, sure. I don't know. Might be the last time, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> you. If you never see him again, you'll know why. Uh, bye. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. You, I usually handle like getting people on, so I gotta like you, you know, <laughs> to get you on the show. Our guest coordinator over here. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say something, but I'm not. What are you going to say? Don't say it. We'll wait till we get off air. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. About to be some bullshit. Watch. Juan, are you okay? I'm fine. All right, well, we'll catch you next y- time. Yes, you are. You good? You are fine. Juan, I'm good. Are you, is Juan okay? Why are you? <laughs> Juan, are you okay? Hello, are you okay? My old are you okay, Juani? <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much for tuning into the Let's Be Real podcast. This is episode. What? 32. Oh, 33. Oh, oh, wait, is 30, it? 33? 34? We'll see when I do the edit. It's 33. You'll find out when you read it's the 33. title. Thank you guys for tuning in. Remember, go watch Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Or else. And, uh, yeah, this is not a sponsor. Or else. All right. What, are you threatening people now? Bye. See watch you guys it. later. See ya. Watch it. Subscribe, like, and comment. <laughs>